Hey, and welcome to uh, welcome to our studio. Welcome to Play on Tabletop. My name is Nicholas. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're joining us today. I've got with me in the studio my cousin, Sasha. Say hello, Sasha. Hey, everyone. Nice to be here again. So Thanks Sasha's me. played with me a couple times playing Star Wars Legion, uh, but we recently got sent the demo game of Shatterpoint. Uh, this is a new Star Wars game. It's basically slightly bigger miniatures. It's uh, it's it's almost like Kill Team in that sense, where they're, you're only controlling a small amount of characters. We played it a couple times. We're enjoying it, so we wanted to try doing a live stream. Um, to be uh, to be clear, right here, uh, 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 Atomic Mass Games is not paying us anything for this. All they did was send us uh, this game, so this is just us wanting to play it and show it to you guys. So I'm hoping you are interested in having fun. Uh, glad you're joining us. Uh, if you've never joined us for a stream before, uh, it can be a lot of fun. We encourage you to communicate with us. Type in the chat. I've got the chat in front of me right here. I can see everything you typed. We want to hang out with you. That's why we're here. Um, it's it, it's a chance for us to hang out together. It's a lot of fun. And we're going to play a game of Shatterpoint. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Are you excited? I'm stoked. Like, we played this game, I don't know, a week ago or something. And since then, I've been kind of thinking about, like, how does this work? Because I haven't actually played a game like it before. I've heard it compared to Marvis, Marvel Crisis Protocol and stuff, which I've never played. It has I've a lot played. of similarities. So and it's a whole new system for me. And uh, we, you've already got fans. Hey, look, Miles Away Game says, oh, yay, it's Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're going to make me blush. Wizard First Rule, thank you for gifting some membership. So membership is a cool way of supporting the channel. If you're just get, getting one of those gifted memberships, check out some of the exclusive shows that are on there, as well as some of the early access. We've actually got some exclusive shows coming out very soon. Movement's finishing, working on it almost right away. And then we've got some, oh, we'll get some more early access coming really soon. There is right now, under early access, um, uh, a 12 thousand point game Ooh. of necrons versus uh death watch slash tau it is a very fun game nick play the bane blade we're playing star wars today <laughs> <laughs> so maybe in the future uh good evening from sunny new yorkshire welcome here welcome everyone so i'm gonna go really quickly over how this game works so mm -hmm. you understand a little bit so we have uh, roughly, well, four, four, or two groups of characters made up of a leader and supporting characters. Mm -hmm. um, I've got eight guys. You've also got eight guys. Yeah. I'm playing the Separatists. I've got Maul. Uh, he's not Darth Maul in this. He's just Maul because he lost his legs. and <laughs> <laughs> Gar Saxon and some Super Commandos. I've got Ventress, which is an assassin Jedi, uh, bad Jedi character. Um, some battle droids and a tactical droid. Um, will this be in video form later? I, we're not probably going to edit this one. It just takes a lot of time, to be honest. And we are busy working on a whole lot of content for a possible upcoming change edition of 40K. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> when are we getting a 29,000 point game? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we are planning some more Legion content too. Uh, we got to finish painting up the, the Shadow Collective. We, we want to put those on the channel. So as yeah. soon as that's finished, maybe Owen. By the way, say hello to Owen. Owen's manning the switcher today. Uh, he's not Owen today. He's Uncle Owen today. <laughs> so how Shatterpoint plays is alternating activations. We have this deck of cards here. And this deck, each one corresponds to a different character. And so when we when we reveal the card, that's what character activates. We don't get to choose the order of it, but when it shows up, we get to play that character. When a character activates, they get to do two actions, and there's a bunch of special actions that they can do on their character sheets. Generally, what you're doing is moving and shooting, or close combat, maybe hitting them with a lightsaber. You use uh, some movement tools for movement. So uh, if I'm moving, I'll move like that, move the guys up. And then you'll use these ones for shooting. So you might shoot like this, and that's the range of weapons range of weapons is not very far mm -hmm. this game is so much about movement and objective control and that is one of the more unique parts of this game is how the missions work so if you look over here if owen puts up the um the uh the vertical one here this there are basically three missions that we're going to play through this game we start with mission one you see all these tokens on the board here these are objective markers. And right now, some are orange and some are gray. The gray ones are inactive. The orange ones are active. Those are the only ones that score points, the active ones. These are random cards that we drove, and that shows the shape of what are active and what are not. So this game starts with these ones active, and we'll, get, we'll go onto those to score points on the struggle tracker. More on that in a second. And yeah. then as soon as one person wins, we get to go to the next struggle and the next struggle. Um, so the first one to win two of the struggles wins the game yeah so it could be theoretically pretty short if nick beats me in the first two which is highly likely highly I think. likely every single practice game we played you beat me by like a lot in fact this guy beats me all the time 
It's just because <laughs> I have such a good teacher. <laughs> so, um, uh, so let's go to the struggle tracker and I'll show you what this is. This is another part, very unique part of this game. So this is the struggle tracker right here. Uh, if if uh, Owen can put that up. So right here, this is my side. This is uh, Sasha's side. And this is where the score is right now. This will move back and forth as we control objectives. And if it ever gets all the way to one person's side, they win that struggle. Um, we will get to put another one of these little black tokens on the struggle tracker, making it easier for us to win the game, win the struggle, when we wound an enemy miniature, yep. so it gets wounded, um, or there's a couple of the special rules that happen uh, when when these go up. Um, so every time that happens, it get closer and closer until you win the game. At the end of every activation, it's called turn of activating a miniature, um, you move this struggle tracker up and down, depending on how many objectives you control, there's like points, and you go back and forth, it's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until one side does it. It's a really cool system. I really like it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's basically Star Wars Kill Team in many ways, but with a lot more rules. <laughs> There's a lot of minor rules. Each character activates and plays so differently. Yeah. Um, they've all got like a nice card and they all work together well. So yeah. as Nick mentioned, like Kalani, the super tactical droid works really well with the battle droids. Yeah. If you separate them, they both suck. They, they buff them, they move them up. And there's yeah. a whole bunch of like uh, condition tokens. Like you, yeah. can, you can you hunker down for defense or you can get on fire and start taking damage. And yeah. Yeah. So if you notice on the overlay on the uh, on the screen there, we've managed to make a digital overlay. I'm really proud of this. We spent a bunch of work on it. That number beside each of them is how many remaining wounds they have. So um, they can take that damage all the way down to zero. They are not eliminated from the game when they get to zero. They are injured, wounded and then injured. And then they get to go through their wounds again before they're dead mm -hmm. uh, and removed from the board. So yeah, our teams pre-made or can you customize them? You can actually customize them quite a bit. Uh, there's not very many released yet, uh, but basically you take a leader and then you take any miniatures under them. However, they are looking at the special rules. They're very well designed to go together. Like the, yeah. the, the, the box sets that you buy, they're kind of, you, you take two squads in the game and the, the the box sets come as squads and they seem to look like they're meant to go together. Yeah, they work really well together. I could, for instance, take Anakin, Captain Rex and Commander Cody's 212th Legion, but it just doesn't work as well not having Rex's men with Rex. They do kind of buff each other. So yeah. it's, so although you could do it, um, you can, yeah, you, you can kind of, yeah, you, you definitely want to run them together. So uh, going through my list, I have, um, Ventress, uh, who is leading a squad of a super tactical droid and, uh, sorry, not a super tactical, a regular tactical droid and two battle droids. These guys are gonna work together. Ventress basically is a beat stick. It's assassin character, no range shooting. I gotta get up and hit you with my lightsaber and she's really good at that. The battle droids are pretty weak and, uh, and they will die easy, but they actually put out a lot of covering fire if I can do it. Mm -hmm. Um, a uh, uh, question about terrain. Um, the ter apparently, according to the designers of the game, they designed this terrain to be able to be used for Legion as well, which is cool. Yeah, that's um, great. This is uh, to the terrain that comes with the box set, which is actually really good. Um, I'm actually really impressed with the box set of how much terrain that came in it. Yeah. Uh, although I, there's a few extra bits that they came in a se separate box. Um, but you can use any terrain you want. For instance, this is some GameAt.eu terrain, one of our sponsors, and uh, it's, it's a lot of, that's a lot of fun. Uh, it, you can build anything you want. More terrain is good. Terrain is a big deal in the game. Yeah. Came together easily. It's quite module, so you can kind of make it how you want. Yeah, uh, yeah, it really, it really is. And the miniatures are pretty detailed. I had a lot of fun painting these. Mm -hmm. um, and then moving on from that, I have another battle group over here. I have Maul, not Darth Maul. He's only Maul. Legless Maul. Uh, legless Maul. Well, he has legs. It's just robot legs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> lead, leading Gar Saxon, who is a Mandalorian. Uh, he's part of the Death Watch, basically a rebel group of Mandalorians that tried to take over Mandalore with with Maul. And then Ahsoka came in. This is. If you haven't seen this, this is the last season of the Clone Wars TV show. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a scenario where Ahsoka went with a group of, of clones to try to retake Mandalore with some loyalist Mandalorians uh, against Maul who had tried to take over Mandalore with the Death Watch, which was a, with a group of Mandalorians. So we've got basically a civil war happening. Uh, and that's kind of the, the context of the box set. Yeah. Could, they, they look, they indicated that they're probably gonna be releasing stuff from all the different eras of Star Wars. But right now it's really just Clone War era stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, I, and then I've got some super commandos, which are basically evil Mandalorians. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you got in your army here? Yeah, as Nick mentioned, I kind of had the opposing force here with Ahsoka to match up against Maul a little bit. Once again, they fight in the last season of the Clone Wars TV show. 
and with her comes Bo-Katan Cries and Clan Cries Mandalorians. Uh, I think they're pronounced Cries. Uh, but they work really well together. Ahsoka is a super defensive and supportive character, as every time she gets attacked, she kind of buffs the people around her pretty decently. And even when she attacks, she's still working on helping her friends. The Mandalorians, super mobile. They have a bunch of shenanigans that work together. Their jetpacks come into play. Uh, on the other side, I've got Anakin, Rex, and the 501st. Anakin, uh, like Nick said, Asajj was a beat stick, but Anakin will oh, kill anything Anakin he touches. Anakin is terrifying. Oh. In every game we've played, I think the rule is just ignore Anakin. Run away from Anakin. He yeah, kills but, everything. Yeah, like if he touches something, it just kind of dies. He does so <laughs> much damage. He's nuts. And then Rex and the clones are interesting because they're a bit of uh, yeah. more control characters. They're a bit of action denial, uh, movement denial. So they're very interesting because they're not about damage. They let Anakin do that. And they more kind of just support him and just they pin up. my guys down so I yeah. can't move around and it's annoying. And as Nick said, with this being such an objective-based game and such a movement-based game, yeah. it makes it tough to get places when you can't move. Yeah. Um, cool. Is that, that's your whole army? That's yep. the whole army. All okay. Of, yeah. Well, I think we're ready to start the game. Um, uh, just a note, um, again, if you're just joining us for, for right now, my name's Nicholas. I've got my cousin Sasha. We are playing Star Wars Shatterpoint. It's a new game from Atomic Mass Games. I think it's released next week, I, I think. It's pretty soon. Um, it's basically... If you're coming from the 40k side, it's basically Kill Team 40k. It has a lot of similarity to Marvel Crisis Port Protocol. Yep. Small scale games. The miniatures are actually at a slightly bigger scale. They are almost the same scale as Legion miniatures, just a little bit bigger. Um, the miniatures are pretty detailed. We mm -hmm. like it. Uh, we've tried a couple of practice games. It's a fairly strategic game. Uh, very in-depth. You've got to get that yeah. movement just right. And it's all about taking these objectives. Yeah, there's a lot more going on than first appears. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, how would I order starter box? I, I guess probably, I don't know, I guess any probably retailer that would support. Yeah, retailers, um, Atomic Nackets games. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you. I just saw Sean, I'm assuming it's Sean Douglas Kennedy, became a plan supporter. Thank you so much. That is a huge way of supporting the channel. It goes a long ways. If you are considering being a supporter, please do so. You can click that supporter button. Uh, basically, it gives you some early access uh, videos. It gives you some exclusive videos. It gives us access to the Discord. And it goes a long ways to keeping us going, um, literally keeping the lights on if you join Patreon or join our YouTube membership. So thank you so much for doing so. And uh, those of you who are members in the, like, for instance, I see... Uh, Raven uh, Raven R in there. He's been a member for six months. Um, so thank you so much. And Fun. and Newfie Edge, Newfie Edge. Um, thank you so much. Uh, you guys could probably tell him uh, how, some of the cool stuff that we get. For instance, uh, yeah, we have some really cool exclusive games on there. Um, uh, from Newfie Edge, are we going to be seeing more Star Wars content coming up? Yes, as we said before, we want to do more Star Wars Legion. Yeah. We're excited to do more Star Wars Legion. Um, Owen wants to actually play some Shadow really? Collective. Oh, cool. Um, and so we need to get some Shadow Collective painted, and uh, me and you get to play some games. Maybe you, yeah. maybe you and Owen play some games. Oh, that'd be great, Uncle Owen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we we will be filming more. I'm hoping I'm hoping like within the next month filming more, but that means like another month for editing. Um, but if you didn't know, if you're living on a rock, maybe um, there's maybe some sort of new edition of a massive game coming out that might be pulling all of our attention and resources into creating content for right now. So. It's coming. You'll have to wait. <laughs> all right. I was waiting for Kenobi. Yes, I didn't get Kenobi painted in time. I had to paint all these. I was basically painting one a night after putting the kids down yeah. at night. Um, it was a lot of work, but I enjoyed it immensely, and I feel like I did some of my best painting work I've ever done. Okay. Here we go. Cool. So I'm the first player this time. You ready to you start? You are the first player. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Take it away. Let's start. Okay. So I'm going to start off by I pull a random thing, a random uh, card. And you have pulled Rex. I pulled Captain Rex. Yeah. So I just got to start by moving Captain Rex then. So that little token, that little thing on the top, says that Captain Rex has something every turn that he gets to help. In this case, uh, he says at the start of this unit's activation, choose a character in this unit or another allied Galactic Republic unit. The chosen character may dash and may gain hunker, which is pretty cool. So right away for free, he's going to make Anakin dash. So powerful. So Anakin so is going to move up to the objective already and gain a hunker token. That's before Rex does anything even. So Rex has made somebody else do something and he hasn't even done any actions. He gets two <laughs> actions per activation. Pretty great. And then Rex is gonna do his actual activation, in which case he's gonna move up because he wants to start getting in range to start suppressing and kind of hurting Nick's guys. Cam, you want us to play Monopoly? Like one oh, of the worst designed games ever that takes 20 hours? No, Monopoly's awesome. That's a game of skill. Oh, I hate Monopoly. I hate it with a passion. <laughs> My wife loves Monopoly. I, I Does she? Like I yeah. don't like it. 
Um, okay. So, yeah, Rex is going to move up, and then he's going to... Yeah, gonna hunker too. I think he's gonna hunker down. Hunker is basically giving you uh, bonuses to defense. It's it's yeah. making you roll an extra dice on defense. So when you hunker, you get to move. When you do the hunker action, you yep. get to move range one. Yeah. Into some sort of cover, and it gets you a bonus cover too. Now, uh, note he has moved onto this objective. This objective right here. He uh, as long as you're within range two of an objective marker, you can help control it. Uh, you can contest it. And what is unique about this game is at the end of every activation called turn. Um, you uh, you score how many objective markers you control, and that's what changes this. Except for the very first turn of the game. So right now it doesn't count. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna I need to on my turn see if I can get one of these objectives because otherwise on her his turn he's gonna be moving this struggle tracker closer to him and he's got a better chance of winning the game. Yeah. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hope that it's one of these characters so I can get on this objective. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm activating, and the the card I drew was uh, my super tactical droid. Kill any. Do I want to activate them yet? I don't want to activate them yet. So something cool about this game that we didn't mention with the rules is we have these force tokens that let us do special things, including delaying activations at time or doing special actions on cards. So I can spend one force token if I want to delay the activation, basically put it aside in reserves and activate them later instead. But actually, the super tactical droid has a special ability to do it for free. I do not have to spend any force tokens. That's, oh, that's what these nice. that's what these things right here in the overhead are. These are force tokens. These are basically special ability tokens. Uh, we use them to do special abilities. So I'm doing it for free. So um, the tackle droids going in reserves, I can activate it later if I want to. Because that's he, nice. he buffs my battle droids. I really like the battle droids go up first and yep. then buff them. So I'm going to then draw the next card. Yeah. And the next card is perfect. That's what I wanted. <laughs> it's my super commandos. So my super commandos are right here, and I'm going to use them to get onto this objective here. So the Mandalorians um, get to move, and I could jump with them because they have jetpacks, um, and that would actually put them in range of the objective without having to do any special stuff. So, hmm. I believe jetpacking with them too is one of those actions that you pay a force token to do, and then it doesn't count as one of their two actions. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could just jump. Yeah, I mean, the units can either can jump or move normally, and they, they basically just hop up. If that's yeah. how they move vertically. I have a jetpack, which means I could uh, basically do it again. I can yeah. I can basically move with a jump and then use the jetpack to move again if I yeah. wanted to. Um, Pretty cool. And you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to spend one of my force tokens, so I'm down to five. Um, and then I'm so I'm going to move. And uh, when you move a unit of commandos, there's some units that are units of two guys, so they're like the rank and file guys. Uh, Daniel, thank you so much. I really appreciate that donation. I think there's Warhammer Monopoly Play It Nick. Oh, I actually would be kind of tempted by that. Okay, I, I might have to look into that. <laughs> How many subs to get you all to play Monopoly? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> get to 300k subscribers for Monopoly. We're getting close. Yeah, we're getting 2,000 away, eh? Yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not far. Um, okay, so when you activate a group of guys that are like the rank and file, like the commandos or the clones or the droids, they actually do their activations together. So and then I'm gonna jump with the other one. So I've got them back to back like that. And then I'm gonna spend that force like I did to make it, let them use their jump packs to go even farther. So they're gonna go up here and up here. And I'm control of this objective now with yep. two guys. And I, I basically use that to move forward more because I, I'm anticipating next turn coming up here to grab this one. Yeah, um, and I believe after they move too, they get a free thing if they're close enough to other Mandalorians, right? Uh, they do. They get to fo they get to focus. Uh, Mandalorians are stronger together. Uh, they can do a focus action, which basically allows them to shoot better. But I'm not going to be shooting anything this yeah, turn. Yeah, we're good. So I don't need to use that. It doesn't really matter. Um, they've used one action to move. Yep. They used a free action with the force to uh, do a jump pack. So I still have one of their two activations. So I'm going to uh, use that last activation to hunker, which basically means they get defensive bonuses. So they're going to yeah. sit here and hunker. And that activation is now done. Yeah. And that hunker token will last until the next time they activate. At the beginning of their activation, all hunker tokens yeah. go away. So yeah. uh, Monopoly? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Monopoly Year of Steve? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, if, if, yeah. if someone finds me Warhammer 40k Monopoly, I will talk to Steve about me and him setting up a Monopoly stream. That all would right? Be so all sad. right? <laughs> you gotta look up all the strategies. I get beat every time. Okay. <laughs> See, Monopoly Steve, you can wear a monocle. Oh my goodness. Oh man. <laughs> can you guys do Orcs for Imperial Guard? Yes, we can. But I think we gotta wait for a certain edition of the, of the new game to come out before we do a whole bunch of awesome content. 
It's gonna be awesome. Almost like that. <laughs> With your turn done, I'm gonna go on to mine then. And I've got uh, Bo -Katan. Infinite, Bo Katan going next. Yeah. And she's got some sweet abilities. Once again, she's got that thing, whatever that token th says. And at the beginning of her action, she can give, it says one other Mandalorian gets to jump. So I'm going to move one other Mandalorian then. And they're going to jump. The Civil War. I love how we put both of our, uh, come yeah. our Mandalorians right here. They're going to have a Civil War right here. Yeah, that works pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so she gives somebody else a free jump. I know it exists, uh, guys. I know 40k Monopoly <laughs> exists. I've said someone's got to find it for me. Yeah, <laughs> if you do that, then it works out. What's the scale of this model? They look quite bit bigger than the typical ones. Yes, they are slightly bigger than, than Legion. They're maybe like half an inch taller than Legion models. So they're not that much bigger, but they are a bigger scale, which does actually make them easier to paint. I was able to paint eyeballs on all of them, which actually I feel, felt pretty proud of. Yeah. So Bo-Katan's next action then. She's going to do the same thing that Nick did and spend a force token in order to jetpack. And she's going to jetpack up top here, which just looks really cool. Um, it's not super helpful right now, so she's going to continue to move on. Oh, it does say that if you can't place the model, oh, does you it? cannot go there. Oh, interesting. There's so no wobbly to... model syndrome like in 40k. Yeah, that is nice. Cool. <laughs> if I buy it, will you play it? Oh my goodness, Jacob. <laughs> so... uh, okay, fine. As I said, I will, t <laughs> I will talk to Steve. I will set this up. I'm sure Steve will want to play it. I bet we can get Tycho in there. I bet I can get Ben in there. Probably Owen. We'll do, we'll do a stream of... 40k Monopoly. <laughs> you know what? We'll make it an exclusive stream for the maybe for the patrons and uh, YouTube members. Um, because Jacob, I mean, this is I think it's the same Jacob that's our patron member. I think so. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyway, so Bo Katan's gonna move. When she moves, if she's close enough to another Mandalorian, she gets a focus action. And when she focuses, she can do the dash action. So she's gonna run up like that. And she can also heal twice. There's nothing to heal right now, but that's all right. She still gets the free dash. She's done all this without doing one of her official actions yet. So for one of her official actions, she's going to advance, which should get her within range of that oh, objective. Oh, sorry, before we go on, we yeah. forgot to adjust the struggle tracker. Oh, I yes. controlled one objective at the end of my turn, which means that this struggle tracker goes to one on my side, a yep. little bit closer to, uh, to, my, to me winning. Um, yeah. because, it, because I control one objective. All right, sorry, back okay. to your turn. So Bo-Katan's now moved up, and she has a focus. She's going to see if she's in range to shoot. She's not. Um, so she'll instead hunker down and try to stay defensive there. She's already in some cover. She gets a free dash thing. And she should be within range now to control this objective too. Which means I now control two objectives. I'm posting this one. in Discord so you can't get away from it. Thank <laughs> you, Jacob. Appreciate it. <laughs> At the end of Bo-Katan's turn, I have two objectives here, so I move this twice my direction. So it's, see, it's like, see the struggle going back and forth? It's, like, it's, it's really actually kind of cool. It's kind of neat. Um, so yeah, so if I don't get another objective on my turn, I'm going to go back one, and he's going to go two his way, yeah. because he's got these two. So it, you, you really have to worry about objective play. It's really, really important. Um, all right. Did you expect your starters game would be so Monopoly heavy? Not at all. No. I'd actually play 40k Risk before I play 40k Monopoly, to be honest. All right, so I'm going to activate the next miniature, and it is Darth Maul. Hey, Maul, how you doing, buddy? Uh, sorry, not Darth Maul. Keep saying Darth. He's Maul. not a Darth anymore. Just Maul. He, demoted. He, he's demoted. Well, he, you know, he left his master. He's not subscribing to the Sith way of life anymore. Well, <laughs> it's debatable, I guess, sure. Um, and Darth Maul, he, uh, he's going to move up. So he's going to use his first activation to move up. And he's way up here. And uh, then Darth Maul has the ability to <clears throat> force speed, which is a free movement, which is really, really good. So I'm actually going to use one of my precious force to go down to four force remaining. Um, if you can see that in the overhead. And I'm going to get a free movement. Oh, I'm going to be able to contest that objective, I think. I think so. Yes. I'm going to contest that objective. So we're both, like, Darth, your yeah, Maul's going to be awesome. Yeah. I keep wanting to call so, him Darth Maul. I believe we're just out of melee range still. Yeah, we're just yeah. out of melee range, which is fine because I'm going to use my last activation to throw my lightsaber you at you. You can huck? Yeah, oh, that's I cool. I can huck my lightsaber. So, um, so this is where, this is where a very unique thing about this game works. And we'll show it to you in a second. So, um, so if you see on, on the, uh, overhead there, this is their, data card with all their stats for their close combat and ranged weapons. It's very unique. 
So we've got range stats and uh, close combat stats. And at first glance, this seems very, very complicated. Yeah. And to be honest, at first glance, we thought the same thing and we were very overwhelmed. It didn't help that it was 2 a.m. that we were looking at That's it. That's true. It was pretty late. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, so uh, I'm going to look at the range stats and that's the offensive dice and that's the defensive dice. So I have seven offensive dice oh. and if I'm defending against, uh, defending against range, I get six defensive dice. So I'm going to take seven of these gray dice, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to roll to see if I can get hits. That is a strong lightsaber you're hawking. All That's right. Good. All right. So, uh, I'm so to be clear on the overhead here, that is a critical hit, that is a regular hit, that is a miss, and this is something called expertise, which basically uh, every unit has different expertise and basically allows them to modify the dice roll to get better hits or sometimes shove the enemy away or do various things like that. Mm -hmm. All right. So seven dice. Here we go. And oh, it's a terrible, terrible Ooh. roll. Oh my goodness, he must have dodged it, because I got one, two, three, four, five misses, and two regular hits, which he is very likely going to block. Yeah. So why don't you put your, to your card there? Absolutely. And we'll, uh, we can see your defensive stats. So when you look at Bo-Katan's card, you see that she's got regularly four of the square, which squares defense dice against ranged attacks. However, you got a hunker token. I do have the hunker token, and cover counts of, if you can draw a line between any part of the bases yep. that goes through cover. And this right here. Which that is box is in the way. Yeah. So, so that gives me an extra defense dice. So I go from four oh. to six defense dice. Oh. So I'll roll these and see what I can make happen. Oh yeah, you block. Yeah. Oh no, you don't kind get. Of. So I got three misses, which sucks. Three misses. So this is a block. Mm -hmm. These are expertise and those were misses they took out. Yep. So we compare the hits to miss, uh, hits yep. to miss or to blocks. So he blocks one of my hits and I still have one hit to go through. But that's not the whole story. Yeah. You see these two dice right here? These are expertise dice for defense. We look at the expertise for defense, and um, it says on it says on one to three expertise rolls, you get two free extra blocks. So you add two. Which so means three blocks means better than my two hits, which means it does no absolutely damage. nothing. Yeah. Yep, absolutely nothing. Well, fine then. Uh, there we go. Victor, well, thank you so much. Would you play Warhammer Risk? I probably would actually play Warhammer Risk. Although the regular <laughs> game of Risk is pretty bad. I've played with my son now. I've introduced it because it's a really good, easy game to introduce yeah. him to. And he now beats my butt at Risk all the time. And he's really good. He's seven, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so a question there. Is this game better than Star Wars Legion? Hard to say better. It's, it's different. different. It's, it's different. It's not the same it game. It scratches a different itch. Um, if I was to compare this to something like Kill Team, I think I like this better than Kill Team, to be honest. Um, but it doesn't scratch that itch of a big giant fight, a war. Yeah. This is not a war, this is a bit more of a skirmish. So I like both for different reasons. It's very different indeed. I had a lot of friends super interested in it because they've learned Legion and find the complexity of Legion daunting. Um, I wouldn't recommend this as a less complex game. It's it not be, less complex, it's no. more strategic. More strategic, and they thought the smaller scale would mean, um, yeah, less Small complex Smaller scale means more intricacy in all the in yeah. interactions. Uh, but okay, so that's that's yeah. Maul's whole ability. He threw his lightsaber, you managed to dock and duck and nothing happened. Way to go, Bo-Katan. Good job, Bo-Katan. Here, cool. take, your, take your thing back. Oh yeah, thank you. Cool. Oh, well that was his point. So uh, yeah. Maul's done. Well done, that's my activation. And at the end of activation, I see how many objectives I control. I control one over here. And because unfortunately, you did this amazing... Uh, Defense. Oh, sorry, wait, uh, uh, just, oh, no, no, no. Because you did that amazing defense, I wasn't able to push you away or do anything else. Mm -hmm. So we contest this objective. Oh, no, nobody controls it. And when yeah. it's contested, the, the one that held it yeah. continues to hold it, hold it until I take it away from you. So it doesn't change hands. Nick was hoping in that to, rather than do some damage with the attack, actually push me out of contested yeah, range. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Some of the ability, instead of just doing damage, you go along this chart and it's not just damage dealing. You could also shove them away mm -hmm. and then you would take control of the objective. But I didn't do that, so yeah. whatever. So at the end of the turn, yeah. it moves one Nick's direction for the one objective he still controls. And this is something interesting. It landed on a zero. And what happens when it lands on the zero? Both sides go up one of these black, which means the game is going to be over sooner. So it starts escalating the kind yeah. of more the game stays the same. Yeah. yeah. Did you get that on the overhead there? Good. Good. Great. Awesome. Uncle Owen's cool. doing a great job over Way there. Go, Owen. Big, big hand be. for Uncle Owen. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so it's your activation. Awesome. So I'll pull my top card again as random. Yeah. And I have now the Clan Cries Mandalorians, who I love uh, because they work so well with Bo-Katan. So I'm going to start off with another force action. Yeah. 
to let them jetpack as well then. Yeah. So this one's going to jetpack up there. And this one's going to jetpack free jetpack over there. So they did that for free. And same as uh, Bo-Katan, when they get and finish a move within range two of each other, uh, they get a free focus action. So they've now got a free focus action. It's still their turn. They've done no actions so far. Um, I'm going to move them again to get them up. You want to shoot Maul, don't you? Absolutely, I want to <laughs> shoot Maul. <laughs> See, Maul's yeah. out in the open. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a bit rough. However, if you do get a uh, Shatterpoint oh, yeah. card. So, Rick, just so you know, all the, uh, the backgrounds. Aren't these backgrounds cool? If you go to my camera for a second, this is the brand new studio that we are now have. These are projector screens, actually. They're very cool. Um, because of our Level Up campaign, a lot of you guys supporting us, we were able to upgrade the studio. New lights, new sound equipment, etc. Pretty fun. I like it. Okay. Boom. Okay, all right, so they're moving up there to be with Bo-Katan there, um, which is pretty neat because that's helpful. Uh, they now have a focus, they've moved, and it's their turn to shoot. Uh, so they have something called Sharpshooter 1. So okay. a focus action, what that does is it gets them one extra dice when attacking with range damage. So if I show you their card here, oh, that's Bo-Katan. If I show you their card here, they usually get six dice attacking with ranged. Uh, they've moved from six to seven with the focus action. And with their helmet visors, they get a sharpshooter one, which means they get an additional dice. So they're up to if they're eight, focused. If they're focused, yeah. so yeah. it means that they're up to eight dice when they're attacking in ranged. Uh, so Nick, if you could hand me eight attack dice, I'm going to shoot more. No, I don't want you to have eight attack dice. Mm -hmm. um, however, oh. I will also get, I will get six defensive dice. Well, that's not bad. That's all right, eh? Okay. So let's see what these. I think that's upside down there. There you there go. There we go. Let's see what these Mandalorians can do with their skirmish tactics. Uh, they can miss with three of them. You've got two expertise, two criticals, and one regular hit. All right. So, uh, so first of all, change your expertise. Yeah. So oh, wait, no, no. I roll first before you shoot expertise. So I roll six dice. Um, and I've got two misses, Oof. one block, and three expertise. Um, so the misses go away. They can't do anything. My three expertise go on to Darth Maul here. And let's see what I get here. The expertise on defense. If I have three, I get two more saves. So cool. these expertise become save, save. Now, this is interesting here. So, so what are your what are your expertise? Yeah, here? so my expertise there, uh, under I range. have one to two under ranged. It just gets me one extra hit. Okay. So they're not that strong. So I use my block to block one of your hits. I use my block to block another one of your hits. And this one can't block these critical hits. You can't block a critical hit. Yeah. So it sucks that two go through. Now, in many games, that would be two damage for two going through. In this game, it's rather unique. Yeah. If you look at this chart right here, this is a chart showing how much damage you do. You basically start at one of these orange ones and you follow this tree depending on how many dice you have. So one, two, and you choose to do different things. And it can be things like do damage. It can be things like heal allies. It can be yep. things like jump away. It can be things like shove a person out of the way. It's really yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, and you Nick follow Monopoly's the been ordered. Should there? <laughs> Jacob, you're amazing. Thank you very much. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so, with my Mandalorians, what I'm going to do to uh, to Maul there is I'm going to do the first, the top tree there, which starts with this token called Pinned, which means next time Maul moves, he doesn't get to move. Okay. Which sucks. And yes. as well, it does one damage to Maul. Okay, I just stay there and throw my lightsaber. So that's with the first hit. And then the second hit will do two damage to Maul. So he's taken a total of three, as right. well with something called the shove action. All right, so um, Owen, Uncle Owen, if you could put three damage on Maul, I'll bring him down to uh, Tons. eight. Eight, so I believe. What does suck is Maul gets significantly more powerful. Oh, that's right. As damage gets on him. When Maul gets damage, he gets more dice. So he gets yep. stronger and stronger. So. The second part of that is I get to shove Maul back from them. Do the sound effects. Kenobi! I, I, he's, there's no Kenobi on the, on the table. Yeah. So I can do, Bo-Katan! Bo-Katan! <laughs> <laughs> all right, and yep. then, is that the end of the activation? That's the end. They did all their shenanigans, then they moved, then they How shot. many objectives do you control? I control two fully. So this is going to go yep. this way twice. Yeah. One, two, you are... You are starting to win this game. It's coming together. Okay, so this is yeah, this is how all the games with us go, where you win and I lose, and it's like every single one. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's um, better. So like the show movie, just killing is the only way someone wins a battle. Yes, in fact, the only the only way you really win this battle is by 
running around to get these objectives and holding them at all costs. And really this game is all about trying to shove people off objectives. Yeah, so the better part of that attack for me was the pinned on Maul so he can't move very yeah. well next turn and shoving him back to uncontested Yeah, because now I'm off this objective. It's fully mine now. Yeah. So really the damage to Maul, I would have almost preferred not to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I just got a bonus. All right, so next, activation, and it is Ventress. Ooh. Ventress wants to go next, and Ventress is, first of all, going to... Ooh, what do I, what do I want to do with Ventress? It's a lot of things she can do. Yeah. Um, I think... Oh, do I want to go face Anakin? Yeah, fight me. Anakin. I don't want to face It's so Anakin. thematic. Come uh, on. Well, first of all, let's just do a normal move, because that's easy. Uh, Ventress moves up. And I'm almost out of range. So I can, uh, she has Dathomirian Dexterity, which means I can use one force to do a free jump action. Um, and that is this this size right here. And that'll get me in range of the objective. And so I just want to jump up here. Oh yeah, there is. And stay far away from you. I've got three force left. Coward. Um, and then with my extra action, she's going to hunker as well. Okay. So a hunker gets you one of those free uh, range one movements, which is the shove tool. So if you'd like to move that, you can. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. that's interesting. I, it doesn't actually help me because I need to yeah. stay this far away to hold the objective. Oh, yep. oh, I could be behind here and have some cover. Yeah, that so would be good. It's not the hunker token that gets that. It's the take cover action. Yes, so which, take, take cover, which gives me a hunker token, which gives me bonuses to defense. Yeah. And then I, uh, I move back just a little bit to, because uh, I'm still in range. I have to be in range two of that objective, which I am, to control that objective and also get some defenses from the, uh, the cover there. So... Ventress is doing everything she can. She's being all she can be. Um, being and now all she can be. I control two objectives, which means this goes back to one, two. And now that it landed on zero, of yep. course, these black little tokens go here. And now it's closer to the end of this struggle, this this mission. Yeah. Um, so it's like it's getting tighter and tighter. It's really kind of fun. And it keeps escalating. And once again, yeah. once this first mission is done, the objectives will randomly change. Yeah. Uh, yes. There's, there's two, you have to win two struggles. There's there's possibly three going on. Yeah. Um, to win the game. Um, and the next one to draw like change what objectives are active dramatically. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't just hunker down on the ones you have and just hold those because yeah. it'll change. It'll change. Yeah. All right. So I'm done. My turn then. Your turn. I go to Ahsoka here. Hi, Ahsoka. How you doing? Oh, I think she's doing all right. I love Ahsoka. It's a favorite of mine. Use She's a Schwartz. cool character, eh? Use the Schwartz, Nick. Okay, fine. <laughs> Use the Schwartz? <laughs> okay. Um, Ahsoka, I think, just wants to come up there and maybe support or maybe make a run for the middle objective. So she's going to start by spending one force. And much like Maul, oopsies, much like Maul, that gets her a free move action. Yeah, she's fast. She's so fast. Ahsoka, Ahsoka is actually not as good at dealing damage. What she is good at is supporting the characters around her. Yeah. She heals them. She can push through things, jump around. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. It's really cool, actually. And then Ahsoka, after that, is going to do a move action, which lets her run forwards there. Yeah. And I don't think she's quite within range of the middle objective yet. She is just out. Oh, so close. Right there. So you can see she's barely out. But here's the thing I just realized, and what's kind of fun, she can take the hunker action. Oh! Oh, which pushes herself. you forward yeah. a little bit. So I already want to be a bit more defensive with her because I'm in the middle of all your men. Oh, Ventress is coming for you. Oh, I bet. Oh, Ventress is so coming for you. You know what? I'm ready. Move. Force jump. Attack. Yeah. You know what? I'm ready. Born ready. I want to take Ahsoka out. I think you should. Ahsoka's pretty cool. <laughs> um, and that's, so that's your activation. Now, you now control, unfortunately, three. Yeah. So this is going three now. One, two, three, and that like you're two away from yeah. from winning this struggle. It's it, this is how all of our games go. All right. So it escalates quick for it sure. Is. And then the next activation is the battle droids, and this is what I've been waiting for because yeah, they're cool. you've been wanting them for a while. Um, so they're gonna move up. Oh, is there any way for me to get? Hmm. There's no real way for me to get onto there and shoot Ahsoka, which would be great. Hmm. Just want to target units within four. <laughs> no. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Well, I guess I'm in charge now. Uh... Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? She. They've got an ability. Yeah. Um. Called I hate this job. Uh. <laughs> sorry. No. No. That's a different. That, that one's a pretty cool one too. But they have. Well, I guess. I guess I'm in charge now. I can't do the voice. Um. It's pretty spot on. Basically. When I would put them in reserve, which I can't because I already have one in reserve, I can just yep. put them at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So I'm going to put them at the bottom of the deck. So do you still have to spend a force to put them in reserve to do so? Uh, yes. I would okay. still have to spend a force. But the point of this is now I know exactly what's at the bottom of the deck. 
Yep, and I'm going to activate this guy, then this guy when it happens. Yeah, so now you're ready. So it's pretty nice. That I'm down to two force. Yeah, and then I cool. draw the very next one, which is Gar Saxon. Oh. And Gar Saxon is great. Fun. He's a cool character. Yeah. Um, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. 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 Gar Saxon, first of all, will. Uh... So one thing to note too while Nick's thinking here is about the force tokens. We're both running a bit lower than maybe we'd like to if we had to plan for the whole game. But once you've gone through all your deck and all your activations, they refresh, you reshuffle your deck, and yeah. then you're good to go again. So Nick has the six force tokens that he's got to budget through his seven activations, being the six characters and the one shatter point card. I've got seven force tokens because Anakin is strong in the force, right? There's yeah. something about midi chlorians in there. Yeah, at the start of this unit's activation, choose another allied Mandalorian character. That chosen character may just jump for free. Cool. It's kind of fun. Yeah, that's what I did um, with my guys. Here. You remain control of the objective. Like, it just stays under your control. Yeah. So I can abandon this objective and still counts as controlling it. So he's going to select these guys to, they're the only on Mandalorians, yep. to do a free jump. And uh, they want to... I think it's just one character jumps too, so it's not even the whole unit. Uh, let's see. Wait, if a character, uh, uh, sorry, uh, part of the Mandalorian. Yeah, one Mandalorian character. So I just choose yep. one of them. He's going to jump over there. Um, there's no point in going here. So he's just going to go over here. Yep. Can I give him some options? And that's an interesting part about the game too, is although those two units are together, they're, one they unit. together. They, they take wounds together, together, all that stuff. But they yeah. can totally separate. Uh, they can be in different spots. It is a pretty big advantage that way. Yeah. Uh, okay. So then uh, Gar Saxon going to move up. And then Gar Saxon is going to use one of the force, don't have very locked, uh, to jump. He uses jetpack. Uh, which will allow him. Oh yeah. To get up here. Ooh. Look at that. Right down at Ahsoka. Uh yeah, I think it's time to shoot Ahsoka. I don't want you to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um after this unit makes a move action, which it just did, it may use this ability. If a character in the unit was within two inches of another Mandalorian character, look at that one! Just like this that. This unit merely makes a focus action. So a focus basically means I get extra dice when I'm shooting. Yeah, and Gar Saxon is, I think, particularly good at He's that. He's pretty good. So the sharpshooter, one yeah. thing that my Mandalorians had... I have sharpshooter got... two. So you get three extra I, dice I will, when shooting. Because of the focus and sharpshooter yeah. two, I will get three extra dice. That brings it up to nine dice, or...? That, um, Gar Saxon is on range attacks, normally six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Yeah, nine attacks. So it's we great. didn't even have nine dice, I think. Uh, no, we got to re-roll them. Yeah. Um, the target does not, also, does not benefit from um, cover. So cool. your hunker is going to be useless. Yeah, that is really good. Yeah, and after a unit makes a focus action, it gets a free hunker himself. Gar Saxon's a bad dude. So Gar Saxon is now hunkered down, aiming his big yep. giant rifle at Ahsoka right here. I don't have any hunker tokens. Can you give me one? Yep. Um, and put it on. Uh... You want to shove towards the objective. So if you can get Ahsoka off that, one of the things about the objective is I won't be able to get close enough to hold it. Okay. And uh, from here, I've got cover. Yeah, that's so I'm going to stay where I am. So one th interesting thing about objectives too is height matters. So you get dibs on the objective if you're at the same elevation as it. If yeah. nobody else is the same elevation, then yeah. whoever's next. All right, so Gar Saxon is going to shoot into Ahsoka right down here. Great. You're in the clear, so no cover for you. And I ignore cover anyways. Uh, I get one extra dice because uh, I don't. There's, I roll nine dice. There's only We only have eight. Uh, so three failures. Oof. Duh. Only one hit. <laughs> but four expertise. But four expertise. So his expertise, yep. um, if I bring Gar Saxon up on here. His expertise allows me on ranged weapons for three to give a free extra hit. So one of these becomes a hit. That's a critical hit. Uh, that is a critical hit. Yeah. For one critical hit, which can't be blocked, and a shove. So, so that's I can shove you away from me. Uh, the shove tool, which, which is after the attack's completed, yeah. of course. So I'll shove. It basically yeah. makes me give you a try to cool. push you away from the. Yep. The objective marker. When we look at Ahsoka's, she gets seven defense dice against a ranged attack. Not bad. Uh, not bad. Which is pretty good. So. I only have six here, so we'll re-roll one of them. Uh, so there is a miss, so I'll re-roll that one to make seven. Another miss there. Cool. And so you I got... got two blocks and three expertise. Okay, your expertise become? So the expertise become with three of them. You can see on the defense, I get two additional block results. Okay. As well as I turn one of your crits to a hit. No! As well as I can perform a jump action. Oh, okay. So because you changed my crit, because he changed my crit to a regular hit, it means he now can block it. So yeah. these blocks, he doesn't need all those blocks. So is a really good defensive character. Yeah. So I do absolutely nothing. I do shove you back. Yep. So I shove you back. I use the shove tool. I shove you back. Uh, it's like an inch. Ugh. And then you can do a jump action if you want. Yeah. So you Which... can jump back forward if you want. 
Yeah, I probably yeah. will, to be fair. Uh, jump over here, because yet to activate is the Battle Droids. Hey, Jen of the Sheep, I saw Mountainside Tabletop release a how to play. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, Victor, Victor Hendon. Hey, thank you very much. Do you think it's worth uh, to read the core ninth with Kent on the, on the horizon? Um, there's a lot of similarities between ninth and 10, but you might not have to wait long for 10. So yeah, I'd probably wait for 10. Okay, all right. At the end of your turn, you control two objectives. I do, I control this one yeah. and this one. So it goes from three on my side to one on my side. So one thing this game does that's cool is after Nick moves the, it's called the struggle marker. If yep. it's still on my half of the board, he gains one of these momentum tokens. So basically it's now more easier. It's yep. Basically, if someone's behind, it gives them a chance to catch up. So although it looks far, yeah. it doesn't put you out of the game. It doesn't take a lot to kind of push back in. And did Steve touch my dice? He hasn't played this game yet. Maybe I just touched my dice. This is terrible. <laughs> this is what happens in all of our games. This guy is the luckiest dude ever. You're just bad at rolling. <laughs> no, my friends hate me for it. I'm lucky. It's, it's rough. It all right. feels bad sometimes. All right. Okay, my turn. I'm going to pull, and I get the or regular... Oh, yeah, thank you. There we go. And there we go. Okay, and I get the regular 501st Troopers. Um, There's not a lot that they really feel a need to do. Yeah, they're kind of out of the yeah. game right now. Yeah, they're a long way out, right? So they kind of just got to get up and get in. I don't think there's any point spending a force to delay them. Do I have rules for stream or premiere chats? Like, I, I'm not sure what rules mean. Like, like things you shouldn't say? I, I'm... Are, are you referring to like, you want to interact with the game? We could do that too, for sure. But I, I'm, you better clarify what we mean. Next month confirmed, no matter what, Kick wants Monopoly stream. I can't wait for it to take more time than the 17 hour game. <laughs> All right, yeah. Deirdre. The five first are going to move up to start. I'll go there. They'll spend a force to get a free uh, hunker token. And then they'll both shove forwards. And I don't think they're going to get even close to within range of Asajj. But we might as well try, right? Range five. Hard to figure out. Ooh, and they are quite close to within range, actually. So... They still have an action if they want it, but there's nothing they really need to do. Yeah, so they'll just, I guess, hunker again. Because yeah. the first one was a free action. Stay back, make sure you hold the objective. That makes sense. Yep. Oh, and it gets them the other shove too, which I do kind of like. Let's move forward a little bit. They're hiding yeah. underneath the uh, the board there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So both are going to move forward there. Is Nick going to be the next Steve? Oh, please no. <laughs> please no. Is Steve pretty bad at rolling? Um. Steve is stereotypically bad at rolling. Huh. To be honest, he wins about half his games. He's average. He's an average roller, but it seems like it. So There's if, stereotypes about it. When if he's an average roller but wins half his games, he must just like, be an exceptional on strategist. What stream premiered at, what, to be honest, we're here to hang out. If you guys want to talk about something else, feel free to. Um, I, I don't want profanity. I don't want you guys uh, hate speech. Uh, I'd rather not talk about uh, talk about like politics and stuff like that. I'd rather keep keep it like somewhere related to hobby related. Yeah. And um, acknowledging that families watch this sort of thing too. Yeah, so it'd be appropriate we, we for are, that. We are, we're a family friendly show. So me and yeah. Nick are family. Yeah. 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 Family friendly indeed. Yeah. Don't make me embarrassed in front of my family. Is my cousin if you didn't know. <laughs> um, okay. So next next card, my activation. Yeah. Oh, this is a special card. You see that card Ooh. right there? That's called the Shatterpoint card. It's basically a wild card. I can activate any unit in my army even one that's already activated. So it basically allows me to do, I knew this was coming up. I was planning for this. I've been yeah. saving my one force here. Specifically, where's Ahsoka? There's Ahsoka. Ah. Specifically to try to go kill Ahsoka with Ventress. That's fair. All right, yeah. so Ventress. Oh, uh, can, I, can I get a token for controlling this objective, please? Yes. Um, so sure. You have them over there. No, I have them over here. Yep. There we go. I control this objective. One thing to acknowledge, the power of the shatter point card is your characters get to go twice, potentially twice in a row. Yeah, this could be very powerful. So yeah. what Ventress is going to do first is going to move. Yep. And, oh, it's going to put us in engagement range. Nice. So you don't even have to spend I don't the force to, spend to move. The force in engagement range and contesting that objective. Yeah. So if I can do enough damage and push you off, uh, I can do really good. So yeah. Ventress versus Ahsoka. So does One Ventress have to... anything else I need to be worried about right now? Um, Ventress, uh, I think, is also going to swap her card. So she has two different stances for her attack card. And I'm just going to swap her card to the um, the... 
uh, aggressive stance. Aggressive stance. So basically less yep. defensive dice, but more offensive dice. Yeah. And once per turn with that character, you're allowed to swap. So yeah. she's now stuck offensive until her next turn. Exactly. Um, oh, I know. I, oh, it's two fours. I did it wrong. I should have said two fours. So I can do what's called a force push. Ooh. If I have two force tokens, I only yep. have one, I could use a force push and push you three away. That is so nuts. So you go way over here, yep. and then you would not be in control of that objective. Yeah, you'd get soul control. Unfortunately. Ah, shoot. Uh, one thing, I think at the end of my last turn, we forgot to move the struggle token We up. did, right. You so control, I control three, three still. So I'm up to four now. <laughs> you're you're Get two close. away. I've got, I've got to take these objectives you away from you. You have to take me off of this, yeah. Yeah, otherwise I'm going to lose the game. So, here we go, Ventress. Um, so we, I'm going to... I guess I could focus. I've got the, the activation for it. Well, are you going to oh, spend the wait. No, I can't. If so I, you can if spend, I focus, I won't yeah. be able to fight. So you can spend the force to do your move with a uh, No, I won't be thing. close enough because the, the force only allows me to do a dash. Right. Which would not have... It would have been here, yeah, which would have been close enough. Okay. So we're going to just fight you. Yeah. Okay. And so, my hunker doesn't apply in melee combat. It doesn't indeed. All right. Just making sure I'm not missing anything else here. Um, ooh. Ooh. That's really good. Sith Assassin. Um... Oh, when a character that's wound, wounds an enemy model, I can heal myself. Whoa. If it wounded a primary unit or secondary unit, you are a primary unit. Yep. It may also move or jump. And if wounded a primary unit, refresh to force. Whoa. Which would allow me to. So you need to wound me, which is dealing to wound you. nine so wound doesn't mean damage. Putting just yeah. damage on it. Wounds means doing enough damage that you are wounded, which would be nine points of damage, which to be yeah. honest, is going to be quite hard. It's probably not going to happen. But it'd be great if it happened. It would be cool. I'd be thrilled, actually, just because it would look so awesome. All right, so we have Ventress right here and uh, eight dice. Well, that's all the dice there uh, on the close combat. Roll a bit better! <laughs> here we go! Oh, oh terrible! That's... It's absolutely <laughs> terrible! So these Ooh. are all misses. Like, how many yep. misses there are? There's five misses. So oh, six crazy. misses! Wow! I didn't even get any um, uh, expertise. So a hit and a crit. This is okay. absolutely so, so get, terrible. Gets six defensive dice. Absolutely terrible. Nick. Oh my goodness! Okay, so I got one miss, one expertise on Ahsoka. Oh, Adds unfortunately, a your expertise, even yeah. one of them, allows you to change my critical to a regular hit. Yeah. Which means that you block it all. Yeah. So Ahsoka's fine then. So that is one of the interesting things. Like we said, Ahsoka, hugely defensive character. Um, it's been kind of nice wasting Nick's actions. Oh, I can do I, I can I can do dual fates. Um although I, I have seen content uh content ID uh stuff capture humming the video or humming the song, so I guess so. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, okay, well, my dice absolutely suck. That yeah. was terrible. Oh my goodness. Uh, we could test the objective, but because I don't control it, yeah. um, you still control that objective, which means I still only hold two, which means this goes back two, and um, and because it's still in your half of the board, I do get another uh, momentum token, so it's closer, but still... Oh, what just happened? It's so rough. All right, Ventress. Uh, Ventress. So you try. On my turn, I'll be pretty close to taking this first set. Very of close. Struggle. Very close. Um, because I'll gain three. Yep. So if I can gain more, yep. I'll be above and beyond. Yep, so yep, yep. I'll draw my next card, and I get my Shatterpoint card now. Ooh, who you can activate? I think Anakin, because he hasn't gone yet. Yeah. yeah. And Anakin's awesome. He can probably get to Assange. So Anakin is going to move up there. What's the distribution of, of attack dice? Okay, so there's only, there's, so this is a, let's see, this is, a eight side, this is an eight sided attack dice. And there's only two misses on it. So two out of eight. Yeah. And you rolled six of them. Oh my goodness. There yeah. is three regular hits. There's one critical and two expertise. Oh. So that's ridiculous. Yeah. So Anakin's going to spend a force. Ridiculous, Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> and Anakin then gets oh, a jump. Oh, come fight me. Sure. Yeah, you want to. Absolutely, I want uh. to. Okay. And Anakin on his turn is going to switch from his defensive to his offensive side. Yeah, of course you are. Which, much like Nick, means he gets an obtuse amount of dice. Okay. So Anakin will then do his attack action. I don't think he gets anything else special before. So he does get eight dice. If he can pass me those dice. No! 
Uh, um, will Shadow Four be taking a part in rotation instead of alongside Legion? I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. Um, it all depends on the audience for this. Is the audience bigger than Legion? I don't know. Um, it might be fun to try at least yeah. one. Show Nick you want um, it. Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, yeah. we'll find out. Um, my preference would probably be to put more Legion because there's more of an established audience for it. Mm. So, but it might be fun to try one. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, who's in charge of the camera changes? Because he should add special effects whenever Nick rolls. Boom. Fails roll. <laughs> How about I just do this? How do you just put, turn to my camera there if you want. So every time I fail, I'll just do this. <laughs> that adds up. <laughs> okay. And it can then is going to roll his eight dice against the size here. You do space balls quotes. <laughs> There's too many inappropriate space balls quotes. But yeah, space balls is quite a bit of fun. So. Oh, and, all right, sorry, yeah, yeah defensive sorry, dice. I'm attacking you. You're attacking so, me, of course you're attacking Anakin rolled you're four attacking misses. And unfortunately, because I went to the aggressive side, I only have six dice. Yeah. Um. So six dice, Uh. you rolled okay. Yeah, four misses. I block all great. of them. So my expertise adds two critical results. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Really? Two expertise. Really? Adds two. Anakin's nuts. Uh, what does okay. your two expertise do? So my two expertise, oh, hey, my two expertise is actually really excellent. So they give me <laughs> two extra blocks. Okay. And it changes one of your criticals to a regular hit. Okay. So, not bad. It's not as good as yours. Yeah. But at least I made... So, my blocks get rid of your regular hits, but your critical hit still okay. goes through. So, you get one point okay. of damage from Anakin. Which oh, my does goodness. Which three damage. Look at that. Anakin, it's such a beat stick. It's not... Anakin starts on the orange with three damage. Yeah, it's oh, obscene. My goodness. So, three damage onto Asajj, which she has... Nine health overall? She's got nine. <laughs> so before I finish my turn, Anakin has this stupidly fun ability called, I'm going to end this. So three damage on Ventress. Yeah. Uh, wow. So after this unit makes a combat action, it may use this ability. One character in this unit may make an attack targeting the same enemy characters within range. And no! Line of start. So it costs my last two force. And Anakin's just going to attack you again now. <laughs> Still on his one activation. Oh. And he'll hope he rolls... Stronger even. Yep. Okay. Here goes Anakin. Round two, kind of. Way better. So one miss only. Yeah. Um, four hits and three expertise. Three expertise is once again two critical results with him. Ugh. Okay. Why are you so much better than me? It's just the dice. So I just get, I still get the roll normally. Yep. Okay. It's, a, it's a regular attack. Okay. So. Ooh. Hey, you look, it's amazing. <laughs> Um, the unfortunate part is I would have loved to get a couple expertise. Even yep. those great uh, results, these two criticals go through. So I block yep. all these regulars, the criticals go through. So two criticals means you're going to do another three, four, five damage. Six. Oh, yeah. one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that is nuts. This is why Anakin is really amazing. Anakin's an animal. I should have used the Schwartz because I didn't use the Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha. I am your cousin. That's the closest we have. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's halfway there, right? Halfway there. Cousin's half a dad. Half a dad? I mean, I'm old <laughs> enough to almost be your dad. Yeah, you are close, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Anakin's crazy. Okay. So, so, that's, so yeah. Anakin, uh, so that was another three, four, five, another five damage on Ventress. Oh, it's insane. So she's I have one now. wound left with Ventress. Now, something interesting with, uh, Something interesting with uh, Shadow Point is when a unit, so that's how many wounds on the sideboard there. You see those uh, graphics there? That's how many wounds are left on the miniatures, when, or sorry, uh, like damage. When they get to zero, they don't actually die and take it off the board. What they what happens is they get injured. And uh, you usually take two injured tokens before you're dead and off the board. Yeah. Uh, some characters, however, like Asajj, Anakin, and Ahsoka have three injured tokens. So it just makes them... 30% yeah. stronger. So Tristan, for every dice that went through, see that, that card that we put up here? Um, put that up. card re ref refers to how much, um, how, how many uh, how many damage do. So this first orange one where you start with on this tree here is three explosions, that's three damage. And then the next one, because you rolled, you got two dice through, is two damage. Uh, if he had kept going, had more dice through, you'd do more damage, more damage, and yeah. do other things like shove me away, or maybe get to do jump or heal, or all sorts of stuff like that. So the best way yeah. to think of it as not damage going through, but hits going through. And each hit calculates to one part of the chart. Yeah. Some of the chart it's is damage, yeah. and some Anakin is not. Anakin is brutal. It just does lots of damage. Anakin's an animal. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Which is why Nick walked That was dumb, that. sir! That was nuts! I don't want to see that again. I'm out of force now. Okay, you're out of force, fine. So, okay. 
Yeah, so now you're down to your two, which you know exactly what I they do. are. So I plan for this. So I'm actually going to save this one, which I know is the droids. Yep. I'm going to go with the tactical droid next. So the tactical droid is going to go next. And uh, when it activates, it has an ability called Roger, Roger, uh, which basically activates these droids beside him and lets them move. So uh, it lets them do a dash move. So I'll take that dash and I'll get to move up for free. Which is pretty good. And then you can move up to here. And... Um, What's the, their range is five. Oh, is that a range of Anakin? I think that might be a range of Anakin. Yeah, I think we could call that Whoa. a range. Okay, so, uh, and then next, um, the uh, tactical droid still hasn't done an action yet. This is a yeah. free stuff. And then next, the tactical droid is gonna use my last force. So I have no force left. Yep, both of us are out. Tactical network. Choose another mm -hmm. allied battle droid character. This one right here. Within four, this one right here. The chosen character may uh, either dash, gain a hunker, remove a condition, or make a five dice attack. So it's gonna do a five dice attack. And yeah. it's gonna shoot an Anakin. That's pretty it's solid. The only target I have, but you know what? I want, I want to do something here. Yeah. So five dice attack. Uh, it's not a great attack, but I'll take it. It's something. Anakin gets five defense dice against ranged. Uh, so I have, that's Ooh. a bit better. Two hits and a critical, one miss, and an expertise on the battle droids. One expertise on a range of the battle droid makes, makes it, turns it into one more hit. So yeah. we have three hits and a critical. So Anakin will roll his five. He's not the most defensive guy. <gasps> he rolls four misses. I did something! So you get three go through. What does three do? You block with... one, and yeah. then I go onto my card here. Yeah. And uh, there's the card for you, Owen. And we go to the first one, which is one damage. Okay. So that's the first dice. One damage. So you take one damage, Anakin's okay. down by one. Then we go to the next one, takes one damage and, uh, what is that, a reposition? Yeah, Camera. so you get to do just a full movement with one of those guys. Yes, do. So and whoever shot gets yeah. to do the movement. So it's full movement. Yep. This battle droid is going to move up. Yeah. And the hope is to try to, try to get better... Um, in contestion range. Yeah, right? in contestion for the future to try to take that objective away for you. I just want to make yeah. sure I'm not in uh, engagement range. I'm going to stay out of engagement range. Which will be hard to stay contesting but not engagement. Yes, Because they're yeah, the same range. I can't yeah. contest yet. Yep. Um, and then um, it does another damage. So I've done two damage total. Yep. And then I've got one more that goes on the next one, which does two damage. So I've done Oof. four damage total to Anakin. Yep. And what's the exclamation mark again? That is... That is... Um, uh, oh, that's the defensive one. I forgot the name of it, but it means that next time exposed. I roll... Exposed. Next time I roll defense device de uh, dice, I don't get my expertise results. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. That's actually really good. That is really good. Okay. So a lot of things right there. Anakin took a total of five, uh, four damage. Um, so that brings him down to six, I believe. He's got 11. Oh, he starts with yeah. 11, so down to Which 7. crazy. Um, so that wasn't bad, and that wasn't even the battle droid's turn. No, that's this is the tactical Lanny. droid's turn. And the tactical droid still hasn't done an action. That's no action. those were free actions Ooh. or force actions. So he's done nothing. Did you yeah. roll any misses with the battle droid's um, attack? If an allied battle droid makes an attack within four, it wasn't four when it made the attack. Uh, if the target character is within four, of one or more other allied battle droids, the attacking character adds one to its attack roll. Oh, so I should have rolled another dice. Oh. So let's see if it, what it was. It was an expertise. Um, the expertise would have added one more hit. Which, cool. So I got actually yep. had one more damage. I would sure. actually probably go to the um, shove and damage. So yep. I'll shove you back. Um, I'll shove you back. Boom. Yep. Uh, oh. And then I will use that shove, because when you shove someone, you, you can, can actually follow. move forward that yeah. same ability too, to get within range of the objective, oh, yeah. but no Kalani. So one thing okay. to note. So, and and yep. it's also one more damage on Anakin. So Anakin's yep. down one more wound. Yeah, he's taken five now. So I believe you rolled one blank in that attack. Anakin yeah. says, after a ranged attack, attacking the targeting character in this unit is resolved. If you rolled any blanks, you take two damage. All right. So the battle droid takes two damage as well. <laughs> Basically, you block the, yeah. you, you shot the laser to last back. So the, the battle droid has taken two damage there. Which, Uncle Owen? It's still a great attack. For it I to was have not very, done, very high with it. Absolutely. And I still haven't done anything with this character. Yeah. So, and then it's going to move up um, to keep in uh, range of these guys. Um, ooh, where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? Um, I, lost, I lost the hunker there. Um, it's going to move up here. And you get in range of the objective, make sure you don't take it. Um, who do you have left to move? Who, have, who hasn't activated yet of yours? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> who do you have a card of? Rex? It must be Rex. No, Rex went first. I don't know. 
<laughs> That's the fun part of the game. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so he'll just stay where he is and he'll hunker. Cool. Um, so take that hunker token that I sent away. Yeah, and I got a bunch here. The tactical droid will hunker. Okay, so that was my turn. I did a lot of stuff. Yeah. I was very happy with that. Basically, the tactical droid is really good at making other things better. And this is why I waited till the end because I wanted yeah. to do this combo. And uh, so by having two guys in range of the objective, I've taken it and by shoving Anakin back, I pushed him off of it and I made him um, exposed and uh, it was really good. That was a great So attack. I now control one, two, three and objectives, which brings us one, two, three, and I have yep. a much better chance of winning this game. Yeah, which is Whew. suddenly it comes back, especially because Nick is so much further down that chart than I am. Hoo, hoo, yeah, hoo. so it's pretty great. Um, Mutant Mike, uh, I heard Nick is playing Orion's Belt minis as well in 10th. I am. Me and Stephanie are going to do Tau versus Votan. Ooh. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. She's coming up, uh, I think, next week it is? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I H, I H eight orcs. I hate orcs. Uh, me, I keep seeing the new stuff and wondering what happens to the old codexes. Well, all the old codexes are gone, unfortunately, as soon as 10th drops. So if anybody wants a whole bunch of codexes that are kind of useless, except for a bit of the lore, come on by the studio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to my yeah. last activation, I think, eh? Yeah. So the mystery goes to Anakin, actually. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, oh, that was, wait, wait, wait Anakin hasn't so, activated yet? No, that was the shatter point that let him out. Oh no! Anakin had not even activated yet. Yeah, I'm pretty, oh my goodness. I'm pretty stoked by that, I guess. Yeah. Say. Oh, there's so much you could do here. I know. So, so Anakin, it could very well kill the battle droids, uh, could kill Ventress, could take yeah. all these objectives, or he could do nothing and go take this objective over here. Actually, you could go here, take this objective, and fight the battle droids. But the issue is, Ventress is one away from being wounded. Oh, right. And being wounded, so it sucks to spend all of Anakin's move to do that, Yeah. but to wound her, is pretty important. It means yeah. she can't contest the objective. It means anytime she wants to do an ability, she has to spend an extra force, yep. which is huge. And Someone... it means you get added momentum to your tracker and making it easier for you to win. And with Anakin, if I wound a primary yeah. character, I add two momentum. Yeah. So if I wound her, I think I win this round. So that's what Anakin's gonna do. He's gonna see it. Can I borrow the two there, please? No. The range? <laughs> I'm gonna see if he's in range to start. Are there vehicles, are, are, I'm assuming you're meaning this, are there vehicles in this? Not as of yet, I don't anticipate them releasing vehicles for this. That would actually be pretty cool though. I, I, yeah. I could see vehicles being a really cool mo game mode, but I doubt we'll see vehicles for this. Okay. Maybe, maybe some custom rules for it. So it would be so powerful. I think it would be cool. Anakin's first thing is gonna be to move up to be within range of the battle droids as well. So now they cannot uh, shoot uh... because they're engaged. Now I can still um, shoot Anakin. That doesn't prevent. Um, you have to shoot with melee, actually. So yeah, this yeah. character won't be able to shoot. This character stands still will. Oh, interesting. That's it's, just cool. an, it's just an attack, yeah. right? No, that's sweet. I forgot about that. Um, so now my debate has to be: Do I keep Anakin on his aggressive side, or do I turn him to his defensive oh, side? Oh, yes, of so course. So I need to deal one hit to Ventress. Yeah. So one critical will probably get it through. Um, how many defensive dice does Ventress get against me? Ventress gets uh, against a range attack or close combat attack? Against uh, cl close combat. Six. Six. So I would get seven. Anakin's expertise gets worse. Yeah, I'm going to stay on the aggressive side, I think. Unfortunately, I but I kind of want to confirm doing the damage against her. Because <laughs> uh, I really need her to not be hurting me anymore. <laughs> Um, so Anakin is still exposed right now, which is unfortunate, but kind of just how it goes. Um, did you guys have fun painting them, sculpting them? Yeah, I actually did. I basically painted one, one a night over the last couple of weeks, yeah. and it was a lot of fun. I, I, I feel like I did some of the better paints I've ever done, and it was, it was cool. Yeah. Lots of them look phenomenal, and it's so fun to play Lots a well-painted game. Lots of them, that one that he thinks is, looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the unpainted ones so far. <laughs> They're all painted! Oh, uh, sorry, I meant like, uh, uh, who's his name? Cody and the two Oh, people. yeah, yeah, we have some box sets. That are They're still great. Yeah. They're less cool looking. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll attack you with Anakin then. Against Ventress or the yeah. droid? Sorry, against Ventress. Yeah, I okay. want her dead. Yeah, um, makes sense. I got two misses, three crits, and Ooh. three hits. The only chance I have... <clears throat> nope, there's no chance. Yeah. You're going to get through no matter what it I do. Kind of just depends on how much else... Uh, uh, so I, I roll really well. Wow, that's your best um, roll. So, <laughs> so I good. changed one of your crits to a regular hit. And I get one more block. 
Yep. But it's not enough because two criticals two go, go through. through. I block all your hits. Your two yep. criticals go through, which does, unfortunately, as we've discussed five. before, five damage. So Ventress goes down to zero wounds. And this is something unique about uh, Shadowpoint. She's not dead. She didn't, I don't take her off the field. What happens is she gets, right now, a wounded token, and she's not injured yet, so don't put the token on yet there. Uh, um, she's injured, sorry, she's wounded, which means she can't control objectives, which means um, she doesn't prevent uh, somebody from leaving, uh, leaving, combat. leaving combat at full speed, and also it takes two force to do any of your actions instead of one. Yeah. And she will stay like that until her activation. It also means she actually can't take any more damage. She's basically yeah. laying on the ground wounded like, uh, and nobody's gonna bother uh, killing her. Yeah. So I did five damage to her. Only one of them, unfortunately, really matters, which is what kind of sucks. Yeah. And um, because you all also um, manage to wound someone, yep. when you wound someone, you add one to your momentum, which means yep. another one of these black tokens goes down on the struggle tracker, and you are closer to yep. winning the game. Anakin has an ability too that says when he wounds a primary unit, I move this one towards me anyways. Oh, and whenever it lands on zero, both sides get a momentum token. So it's so close so to Nick So the right game now. is almost over right now. Um, Not the game, the first round. No, sorry, the, the first game. round. Yeah. But now we go to the end of your turn. So, well, also what happens is when I wound a primary character, every Galactic Republic unit can do the heal action. <laughs> so <laughs> Anakin will heal the exposed token off himself. <laughs> and Ahsoka, you can heal somebody within is range she Galactic two. Republic? Yeah. Are you is. sure? Certain. Uh, cool. Ahsoka Tanu, Force user, Galactic Republic. She abandoned the Republic. I know. But At she... this time, she's Jedi no more. It literally says, Jedi, Jedi no, no more. more on her card. <laughs> so she'll heal one off Anakin because the heal action can heal friends within range one. None of my other guys are wounded or have tokens. Um, so um, that's yeah, that. None of your other guys are wounded. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, and then you control the objective. You take over the objective, which means you now control three. Yeah which makes this token go one, one two, two three. three. You are inches away yeah. from taking this game. So if Nick doesn't change something on my turn, I'll, I'll win this first round. I, I have to take another objective. Yeah. So let's see if we can do that with, with uh, the battle droids. So the battle droids have activated. Yeah, um, right, because last time it was all Kalani doing yeah. stuff for them. So battle droids have activated and this, needs to go well. <laughs> um, I don't even know what you need to have happen. Hmm. I can't take your deck away from you. The no. only thing I can activate is this battle droid and this battle droid here. Yeah. But because Ventress is now wounded, she can't contest. And even if I manage to knock um, Anakin off, um, aren't you still pinned? No, I got rid of it with the heal. Oh, right. Uh, and it was the exposed action, yeah. Okay. Or token. Sheesh. So Anakin healed one damage because uh, of Ahsoka and got rid of his exposed, which is nice. <laughs> I hate Orcs, yeah, but she just left. She's still in the rosters. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And I guess at this point, she is leading clones. So, okay, fine. We can get behind that. Yeah. Um, so I well, activate, she's leading the Mandalorians. I activate the droids. Um, and... Uh, hmm... This is really tough. Yeah. Like, it's really tough. So I honestly don't know why, what I would do as you here. Um, yeah, I can't I can't stop you from winning, unfortunately, on your yeah. turn. So I'm just going to have to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get prepped for the next struggle. That's what you got to do, as, right? As soon as this struggle is over, there's two more uh, struggles, yep. and you have to win two of the struggles of the three to win the game. And we so don't know where I'm gonna the objectives prep myself. Be. Yeah, we don't know where the objectives are going to be controlled. So I'm going to move yep. up these droids here. I'm going to move them, make sure they're within two of this objective way back here. Yeah. So that if this shows up next, I, I'll got it. Mm -hmm. And um, then... Um... Oh, sorry. What does protection do? Uh, protection means you take one less damage when you're contesting an uh, objective. Okay, so um, I, I have a special rule called, I hate this job. I hate <laughs> this job. That's more than it sounds like. That's uh, fun, I think. <laughs> Talk to Dave Filoni. He'll get you going. <laughs> Um, he, he basically gets protection, which means that he'll take less damage because he's on an objective. Yeah, that's uh, that's um, for the droids? That's for the droids. That's awesome. Yeah. And so I've moved, and then I'm going to shoot. Okay. So I'm going to shoot. Or it's the attack action. Sorry, attack action. So and this is a clear because the attack action, I'll do a close combat with these guys over here yep. and do a range attack with these guys over here. Yeah. Both into Anakin. Cool. So that is a cool thing about the uh, 
the double units is they do every they do action together, together, right? Yeah. Rack so they racker. both attack separately. I get the chance to defend twice, but Nick also attacks twice. Yeah. Um, Which oh, could deal some good and because damage. I'm within four of the tactical droid, yep. um, I get to add one to its attack roll. Oh, that's nice. kind of fun. So, um, so the first one in close combat will try to hit you with five dice. Not as good, as, not as good in close combat, but because of the tactical droid, I get another, another dice. Pretty nice. Um, and right here is where I wish I could have switched to Anakin's a bit more defensive side. Okay. Get an extra dice would have been nice. Battle droids. Ooh, uh, that's all right. Only one miss, two hits on a critical, and two expertise. Two expertise on a close combat means one extra regular hit. Okay. So that's three regular hits and a critical. So and this is this, a, this is actually shown. You got to actually do it there to show. Oh, it. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So I'll roll Anakin's five defense dice. Yeah. Uh, he gets two misses and three blocks. So he blocks your three regulars and your one critical goes through. Okay, so one critical just does a single point of damage. Okay. So Anakin's taking one more damage, please. Five and damage then the other one's gonna shoot you. And Great. to shoot, I get seven dice. One, two, three, Plus four, the five, one six. with Kalani, so eight. Seven, yeah, eight dice. That is a great shot, actually. Roger, Roger. Way to go. Um, hey, Not it's a, a good <laughs> roll. Only one failure. Well three done. Three expertise, yeah. three regular hits, one critical, the three expertise on a ranged attack, equal two more hits. Pretty good. So I've got a total of five regular hits and one oh, critical. That's nuts. That's okay. fantastic. See what that's Anakin's well five can do. Ooh. Two misses, <gasps> one expertise. What do uh, these do? Adds one defense and turns one of your criticals to a regular hit. Okay, so that's okay. You block three, but three of mine ah. go through, which does damage, damage, double damage. So four more I'm gonna so take. So four more on Anakin. Is that nine? Plus I get to reposition and make you exposed. Ooh. So you're exposed, which means you won't be able to use expertise on your next defense dice. Yep. And uh, and I did four damage, which brought him down to like two. Yeah, he's at nine damage he's taken. I, I love at the beginning of the game, I said I'm going to ignore Anakin, and now the only damage I've done damage. has been an Anakin. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to go. Uh, and then I get to reposition the one that just shot, yep. which is the battle droid. Yeah. Can I get in range? So I think your bodies are blocking you. Okay. So this is where it becomes tough, right? This is tough. Yes, I can do it. Look at that. So you can contest it. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can oh, contest it. The battle droid has managed to sneak in and now is in range of the objective, um, which means that contested. I have taken the objective. Well, actually, Asajj doesn't count oh. as contesting, right? Because she's still wounded. I haven't taken the objective. I yeah. forgot. I, I'm sorry to burst. I, I was so happy for you. I'm so <laughs> sorry to put it too. I know. I was excited too. And I hated the fact that I just said actually. <laughs> Actually, Actually. <laughs> um, okay, so I control one, two, don't control more. So this yep. goes back to one, two, and unfortunately, because I wasn't able to do yep. anything else, no matter what I do on your turn, yep. you're gonna be able to, oh, so do I wanna do that then? Yeah, you might wanna move somewhere else with him. Do you mind if I take that back? Uh, absolutely, okay, please do. I, because I can't actually control it, um, I'm just gonna keep her, keep him back here, this battle so. And bank on that being an and, objective next time. Um, because I have the reposition, I'm actually going to reposition back here. Okay. Give myself some cover. Yeah, do you want to check if that's still in range of the objective? Of two? Yeah. That should be no problem. Great. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to get myself some cover and hold this objective. And you do get one more struggle token. Yes, because it lands on there. So if, you're struggling. if we had managed to go one more turn, I could have won it. Yeah. But unfortunately, you're going to go your turn and you're going to win this struggle. Yeah, so although it feels like I've been ahead for a while, it's actually still so close. Because every time it ends on my side, yeah. if I stay barely ahead, it keeps giving Nyx a, an advantage. Yeah. All right. I'm that out of cards. That was very kind of you to let me do that, uh, but go oh, ahead. No and I'm so, out of cards, so I got to reshuffle. You do. And when, and I when reshuffle, you reshuffle, you have to, right, you get to redo your force. Yeah. Your I force won't get to do cards. that yet. Refresh my force until I reshuffle my deck, so. Yeah. Great. Yeah, so I'll reshuffle. Um, I need to also play this turn understanding that at the end of this turn, the objectives will change and Nick will get to move first seeing that happen. Yeah. So I don't true. get to see where the objectives are. Yeah, that's true. Which is frustrating. Like, that'll be tough. Okay, yeah. I'm all shuffled up. I'm going to pull my first card. And it's Rex. I like Rex. He's fun. Um, he's got that special ability. I'll put that over here. He's got the special ability that says, I can choose a Galactic Republic character. That unit may move or dash and hunker. Move um, or dash or hunker. Not move, sorry, just dash or hunker. Okay. Dash or hunker. Which uh, is be a shorter movement. Yeah. So I'm going to get... I don't know where I want people to dash to. Because uh, it can't be him. Choose it. Oh no, it can be him. He can dash, then hunker. 
Mm. Yeah, so he'll do that. Oh, and you're doing a great job on Switcher there. I love all the stuff you're doing. Already. You're keeping it, keeping it real there. He'll dash. The force, the force is with is us. With today. Well, it's not with me. It's definitely not with yeah. the Sith, and it might be with the Republic. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't really know what to do with him. I might shoot the battle droids. Uh, yeah. He hasn't done anything yet, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Cody can go up. Well, I was hoping to maybe shoot him, but he's hunkered. Um, I might actually do a climb action with him. Oh, to get up there? Yeah. Oh, to try to maybe content and get that objective. If it, if I'm going to bank on up. this being the next objective. That makes sense, actually. So I'm going to climb up there. He's still got his hunker token. Yeah. And then he should probably shoot somebody because he can. Um, he'll shoot the battle droids. Because Fire away. Why not? Uh, he gets seven dice. Wow, way to go, Rex. And I'll, I'll, I have hunkered as well, so I will get an extra defense dice. Yeah. And, and I mean cover. Barely, but you are. Yeah. So that means I get another dice on top yeah, of that. So the height almost eliminates the straight line, but that little top ledge there awesome. still covers a bit of your base. Okay, so you get two extra defense dice. Um, Good, because I only get four, so now I get six. Okay. Yeah, Rex is going to shoot you. Oh, I'll take that one out of there. Uh, oh, way to go, Rex. Two misses, four hits, and a crit. Oof. I don't like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh just two blocks. Yeah. So two hits and a critical go through. So three hits. All right. Which for Rex. Put it up here if you want. If you want yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I often forget. Um, um, so I have the two options for Rex. I can where go. Where can start. Yeah, multiple yeah, options to start. I can go two shoves and then heal two. But there's nobody within range who needs to heal. So I'm going to do two, four, five damage. Ooh. And make them exposed. So they okay. can't use. So the battle are down five damage. Uh, which takes them down five, six, seven. It's two wounds remaining on them. Yeah. Wow. I believe the hunker goes. Yeah, hunker, hunker goes away. They've yep. already used it. Okay. So they just have two left, eh? Yep. Two, four, five, six. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Two, four, five. No, they. Oh, yeah, because they already took the two from Anakin. Yep. yep. Anakin bounced it back. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. So at the end of. Uh, so at the end of the round, exceed yep. momentum thing, do you reset all the models to start out? No, you don't. The only thing you reset is this struggle tracker. So everything else stays still... the same. Yeah. So it's, it's a race to see who can go it. So we're going to see it right yep. here. So one, two, three. So this means that uh, Sasha has won the first struggle. So I'm up one nothing on Rick. One now. nothing. Yeah. And then what we do is we go to the pile. There's three options here that are that are say number two. We don't know which one. Yeah. We're going to pick random. one randomly. And then it goes up here and... The objectives change. The objectives have changed. So as the player that lost, I get to choose. Okay, so first of all, let's get rid of all these momentum tokens. Yep. Except for the first one. And this goes back to zero. Yep. So as the person that lost, I get to choose which of these are active. So one thing to note, you're going to notice there's different symbols here as well. Yeah. Those different symbols mean yeah. at the beginning of each of our turns, we roll a defense dice. And whatever that symbol is, that objective is now worth double points for that. Exactly. Time. So it's, it's going to be suddenly running around really fast. So the game that was already swinging back and forth now swings more. So I'm going to actually choose the one where these two are active. Yeah, that makes so sense. So these two become active. This yep. These ones become inactive. So yep. the center that we we're all fighting over, inactive. No good. And then your one that you're on, which is yep. very smart, becomes active. And the controls all go away. So I'm thrilled that I moved Rex up there. I at least have one. Yeah. I start with two. I'm it's hoping fantastic. Rex doesn't roll that one of those two is the bonus one, because then he'll move up three, turn yeah, one. Yeah, because I get to start this turn. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I get to refresh my force powers. Uh, so I have a total of six again. And then I reshuffle the deck and uh, then draw, draw my next activation. And the next activation is Kalarni, the, yeah. uh, the super tactical droid, which is very useful. Are you gonna set him aside for is free? Is now or? the time to do it? No, I think now is the time to do it. Because I can shoot for free with uh, with the tactical. I can do all the things again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it. So, Clarny's okay. um, going to go. So he's got his first innate thing, which lets a droid he, move. Right? Yeah. So his innate thing means that I choose a droid within four. Choose either. Um, and they can either move or shoot. And I think Anakin with two wounds, I'm going to try to do it. Yeah. Are those guys still in range to shoot? Oh, that's true. And so it depends if it has to be a ranged attack action or not. Uh, it does not say if it has oh, to cool. be a ranged attack. Then you can just melee punch uh, So I, I will activate these droids back here. Yeah, and they just... will do a ranged attack. 
And uh, sorry, these guys? Yeah, these guys are here. So these, yeah. this character droids are here. Yeah. He'll do a, ra uh, a melee attack. There you go. Yeah. Sorry, I was um, just a bit confused. Uh, you won't get to use expertise against this. No, because I'm still pinned, exposed. And I get an extra dice. Whatever that is. Because yeah. of uh, because of his ability of having guys close enough to him. Cool. So I'm gonna hope I'm gonna hope that I can do those two damage. Yeah. Uh, against Anakin. So let's put this up there and show that they're melee. Oh, I guess it's a five dice anyway. Well, the five dice attack. So I actually get six dice. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, I rolled not three great. misses again. Um, but an expertise gives me nah. Oh, I, on hits, oh, that's an extra regular hit. Yeah. So two regular hits and a critical. Let's so see if you, if do you can block that. So if you do two wounds to me here, you're gonna I need Anakin. two to go through. Yeah. Okay. So I missed three of them. Um, so I block one, and expertise gets me a block and turns one of your criticals to a hit. Okay. So you block. Well, I two. can't use the expertise. Oh, because you can't. I'm you, exposed. Can't. Oh, you can't. Which means two go through because I because I exposed you through? with the previous attack, and you now wound Anakin. Ah, so I do two damage to Anakin, Oof, which means Anakin is wounded, which means he can't control that objective. Yeah. Um, which well, we don't it doesn't anymore. matter right now. But I go one damage, two damage, and then I can actually reposition that character. Yeah. So I'm actually well gonna, done, droids. I'm actually going to do that. They just um, soloed Anakin. It can't be a move because I'm an engagement, but I'm going to do. Uh, I'm gonna do, uh, ooh, should I just fall back and run away? Yeah, I'm just gonna fall back with them and uh, kind of run away a bit here. So the droids are gonna get out of engagement range. Um, yeah, this, they're still exposed, but they're falling back there. And, uh, I feel, oh, you know what I didn't roll? I didn't roll for which objective is the priority objective. Oh yeah, gonna you do that just first. do that now. We're supposed to do it at the beginning of the turn. So, uh, according to, star. So according to this chart right here, if you go to the chart there, the top um, one of this one here, so that one is uh, the back right. This one right here, yeah, which I control. Yeah. Excellent. Well done. So this one is the prairie jacket. Where's that prairie? Uh, that one right there. Yep. So this one is now worth two points instead of one. Mm -hmm. So Ahsoka has a thing that says, um, once you've wounded an allied unit after the effect is resolved, one character in this unit may move towards the enemy character that caused the effect. Um, and then I can either attack you or heal three. However, because of the way you moved, because I don't think- rock there, you have to go around. I know, so I can't it's get not a jump back. action. It's a move action, which means yeah. you can't actually go so in any ele elevation. So I'm still allowed to move towards you. Yeah. So I'm still going to. Yeah, that makes because sense. That's, still, and that's then more I, useful. Yeah. Then I can heal three, but I can't yeah. heal three from a wounded character. I actually am so okay that you did that because now Killarney's gonna go. And Killarney's gonna- Oh, heal, yeah. Killarney's gonna uh, focus and shoot you. Yeah. Shoot Anna, uh, shoot uh, Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Yep, you're in range. Ahsoka, take this! So Kalari actually Glass. gets a decent amount of he's attack. He's actually nuts on D. He's uh, actually decent. Uh, he gets seven dice, but he focused, so he gets eight. Ooh. And take this! Um, I I got no misses! No misses. That is Two nuts. regulars and a critical. That sucks, because if Three, you roll any misses... Four, five. Ooh. Five expertise. Yep. Um, expertise on range. Well, two plus means I get one more critical and two more regulars. Wow. Wow. Good job, Clarny. Way to go. The so Soka gets seven. I have to reroll one of these then. Yeah. We'll reroll the miss, of course. There's one miss, so I got four blocks and an expertise. Oh, Ahsoka's you're gonna, you're gonna expertise. Do good. Your expertise is really good. Adds a defense and turns one of your crits to a regular hit. Did you block them all? So one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. So one crit goes one through. One goes through. So fortunately. Uh, Killarney uh, is actually oh, pretty good. Does two damage right off the hop. Yeah. So Ahsoka has taken two wounds uh, with that attack. Where did well go, done. Yeah. Well done. And um, so if you'd rolled any misses, I would have done two damage to you, but you rolled none, of course. Yeah. Which is frustrating. Fantastic. Um, oh, I didn't do the Roger Roger ability. At the start of the unit activation, ally battle droid supporting character moves within one. Um, yeah. The tactical network, yeah, uh, is is what we're that cost me a force. Sorry, I did that wrong. Okay. The, the, the free attack I did, yeah. that cost me a force. Okay, cool. I was miss I was doing the wrong one. Oh, not I'm still problem. doing it, but I'd also get to move one of them. So I'd obviously move this one uh, to come back here and try to help hold the objective. Yeah. So I get to do a free dash. Um, and I think. So also that puts me in range of the objective. So you I got, get one of these things for having wounded one of my I guys. I wounded a character, which gives me a momentum token. You wounded Anakin. Yeah, and I control one, two, and the priority, which means this goes three in my direction. One, two, three. So that is a huge turn so, for you. Much better. 
So yeah. I'm doing much better this turn. I've got two on this objective. I've got one here, but I've also got two guys close to it. And you've only got one back there. Yeah. I'm in an okay spot. And Anakin is wounded. Which is nuts. It's so really Anakin good. and Ahsoka, the two beat sticks, both wounded. Which is crazy. Oh, okay. Ahsoka's not wounded yet. Oh, sorry. Anakin and Asajj yeah. is what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. My turn, I think, then. Yeah. So I'll pull random, and it goes to her. What's her? Bo-Katan. Oh, yeah. So you got your three Bo-Katan, um, which I don't mind having right now. So it starts off by saying another Mandalore character can jump. So she's going to get this guy here to jump forwards. Yeah, you're trying to take out my objective, yeah. aren't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then Bo-Katan's going to spend a force to jump. Ooh. No, Bo-Katan's going to move first. Sorry. Are you guys enjoying this? Is this fun? Um, we, we, we put a lot of effort in trying to make this as... It's hard to show games like this on a stream and make it really clear. So we try to do a lot of work with the side graphics and while we're explaining it to try to make it clear and accessible to you guys watching. So I hope you're enjoying it. Owen's doing a great job of switching. Thank you so much, Owen. Yeah. And Sasha, thank you so much for playing with us. Oh, my pleasure. If you guys have questions about the game or about us, feel free to chat. We love the chat. I have the chat in front of me. We want to talk. We're here to hang out. That's the whole point of this. Yeah. Um, thank you for joining us. It's a lot of fun to have you here. As a, if you have checked out our channel for the first time, my name is Nicholas. This is my cousin, Sasha. We're playing Shadowpoint. It's a, Absolutely. It's a brand new game. It comes out next week, I believe. Yeah. Um, and to uh, for transparency, uh, Atomic Mass Games is not paying us for this. We're not getting paid for this. This is really just, uh, they sent us a, a demo copy uh, for free, which is nice of them. And I, I've been pinning it up the last two weeks, um, getting it ready, and we want to try it out. So yep. that's where it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, roll for the priority objective. Yes. Thank Sorry. you for reminding us, uh, oh, Sean. Oh, yeah. I was going, that. That's going to make a big difference. I was going banking that was a priority objective. Oh, it's this one over here! Oh, excellent! Thank you very much. Yeah. So this one is mine. Sucks. Yeah. So I was yeah. hoping it was that one. Whatever. Um, Bo-Katan hasn't done any actions yet. When she's close enough to other Mandalorians, she gets a free dash climb thing. This action. Uh, dash is not going up a hill. So it can't go up. She also gets to heal three. Yeah. Unless it's a jetpack. So or it doesn't jump. matter. So she's going to have to spend a force to jetpack now. Okay. So she'll jetpack up there. Yeah. And then she's going to be in melee for that guy. Yep, unfortunately, yep. I still control this objective because you have to take me off yep. of it. So I get a focus token, which is nice. Um, yeah. Your focus. I don't so think there is focus, any focus tokens. Yeah. There's no tokens. I always forget. Uh, Thanks, John. Three, four. I'm glad you're looking out for me. I got to win one of these. Like, let me win this one. I've got a good chance here. I think you do. If you don't take this from me. Three. Actually, if you don't take this from me, you I might have just a win. good chance of winning. I think winning you win this right away. On my turn. Like, yeah. Like, it swings fast. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. no, because you'll have one. You'll go back one. So yeah. it won't, I won't win, but it'll get close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Bo-Katan's going to take her seven at you and hope something happens. All right, Bo-Katan, at this guy right here, holding yeah. the objective. Yeah. Melee yeah, against him. She missed one. She got one expertise, which melee expertise adds one hit. Whoops. And this is a close, close combat hit. attack? Yeah. So I got three crits and three hits. Okay. Uh, Mandalorians! Um, when an enemy character that has engaged with one or more characters in this unit uh, moves... Oh, it has to be engaged first. Yeah, okay, yeah. never mind. Oh, yeah, if you move while in range of us, because we have no mercy, you take damage. It's awesome. Which is so fun. It's fun. That's cool. Um, okay, so just right. five dice. Yep, I think so. Um, Ooh. Three failures. Ooh, so two blocks. So four go through, Oh, though. no, that's a terrible amount of damage. Yeah, so I'll show you here. I gotta choose what to do with ya. Uh, can you take them out? They start with eight. Uh, so One, two, two, three, four, five, six. I can't. Okay, so you can't do enough damage yeah. to kill them, or to injure them, uh, but you can do an awful lot of damage. And I can't shove you off an edge, can I? Uh, not unless completely goes off the edge. So, so if I shove you twice, I will. So if you shove me once, it'll go to here. Yeah. If I and shove, then shove you again, again, it'll go to here. Uh, Which you can't stand there. Would it go to the next place you stand? Yeah, it, it, pretty much, yeah. Oh, okay. It would, show, it would shove a little bit, and then... It would shove to here, yeah. You basically, yeah. You basically, go, I basically go down here. Okay. So I'm gonna do the bottom route then. Okay. Would so going you down to there would that be out of range of the objective? Even if it isn't, we'll say it is. Okay. So I'm gonna do two damage, three damage plus a jump. You get a free jump. You get a free jump. You so she's um, gonna... actually, if do, yeah. do you want to do that? Are you sure? Because if you well, do if that, don't, if you're in range of a of a super commander right here. Oh, I thought so it you was... will take two damage. Yeah, I thought it was leaving either one of them. That makes sense. So I have to jump a little bit, so I'll jump there. Okay, so you take two damage. No, I didn't leave range, though. It doesn't... Uh, no, it's just easy. You do a move. Oh, I thought I had to leave combat yeah. with them. 
Oh, sorry, if yeah. it's no longer engaged. You're right. Yeah. yeah, so it's basically if you leave the combat. So if I move yeah. here, I'm still engaged with this guy. Yeah. Do you think I take the damage? Yeah, because I'm in combat with both of them, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So two, three, four, five damage I'm going to do. And, and then you're going to shove me twice? Shove you twice. Okay, so Which... that basically I take this, I go here, and I go to the edge. Um, you can't overhang, and if you overhang, you just move back until you're not. But the second shove, unfortunately, does push me off. And I fall down to here, so, which puts me just out of range of the objective. Yeah. So if I oh, move... I had a hunker. You can't use hunker in melee. Though. Oh right, that's yeah. fair. Right. All right. So hunker goes away. I got a quick question for yeah. you because I'm not actually sure if I follow you with the shove because I stay in melee with that guy. That is not a movement. Okay. So I'll follow you with the shove there. And the next shove, you want to go all the way no, here? I'll just stay in the middle actually. Okay. So, it's so now you're not at, you're not out of engagement range there. It does keep you in engagement range of me. Is that yeah. intended? That is intended. Okay. Yeah. Because if I leave, I take two okay. damage. So you have stolen this objective from me. So now yep. it's your objective, and have taken me out of it. Yeah. So and so you have taken the objective. Well done. Yeah. And then I get two, two, one, two. And all it's right. still on your side, so I get an additional black guy here. All right. All right. And uh, that's fair. I you took two, three, four, five. I took five that. damage on the super commandos there. Uh, yeah. Owen. Super commandos down to five. Great. Oh, sorry, down five. Down Not five. Down to yeah. five. Five, six, seven. There should be about three wounds remaining. Um, that's what you those uh, graphics on the side is, is how many wounds they are remaining. Uh, Jen the Sheep, Ekplo and Temple Up, how does spending force tokens work? Is it a pool of tokens or for model? It is a pool of tokens that you can use for any of the miniatures. Mm -hmm. Sorry, one second. So you get your force tokens based on the commanders you take. So my Anakin gets me one extra force token than Nick. It's called the will of the force rather than representing a character using the force. Exactly. So yeah. every force action will have a force token cost. Um, like Ahsoka has a force speed or a push. A lot of it's used for movement. Yeah. Yeah. But things like Bo-Katan's jetpack would also have a force cost because yeah. that's the will of the force. That's me exactly. swinging chance in my direction. Yeah. Um, that's my turn then. Bo-Katan. Uh, mutant Mike. Uh, oh man. I'm, oh sorry, not Mutant Mike. Well, hi Mutant Mike. But J Jameson, Game of Thrones. Can't wait to see you guys in Calgary. We can't wait to see you. I hope I'm looking forward to it. We, if, for those of you who don't know, we are running a narrative tournament in Calgary. It is full though, so there is no more tickets left. Um, but we are looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. Um, okay, so that was your activation. That was smart. My turn. My activation is the battle droids. You know what? I'm completely yeah, okay with that. That's that was great. the right move because what I need to do, Ahsoka hasn't moved yet, right? So also, before you go, roll to see which is the priority oh, objective. Fair enough. That's hard to remember. Fair enough. Yeah, every yeah. turn. Uh, that one is. If we go back to the card here. It's this one over here. Nice. Oh, which is good for me but it won't stay that way for my turn of course no it'll move again so but this is the randomness that becomes difficult yeah so i was really hoping to uh if you'd kept that you could have just stayed pretty yeah. and been way up so i could try to shoot you off of it yeah i could move and shoot try to shoot you off of it you gotta shove me twice to get me off the thing i'm thinking about is i'm worried about ahsoka coming in here if i move here i can just unload into ahsoka with both yeah. of them that's true. But I think that's what's going to happen. I'm going to move yep. with this battle droid unit. And I want to I want to put myself at maximum. <laughs> yeah. As far <laughs> as possible. Um and then the other one also moves as well. Yep. Uh, so they both move back. And I've got three guys in range of the objective now. So that's pretty hard to contest right now. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to make it hard for you to take this objective away from me. Yeah. But I'm now going to shoot both of these guys yep. at Ahsoka. So both, I believe, will be through some sort of yes, cover. Yes, you will get cover against yep. it. This and is she's true. got one hunker from something. Uh, not on Anakin's on her? hunker. I thought it was on Anakin. Oh, maybe on her. I think it's on, because Anakin got wounded. I'm not sure we already got it yeah. from it, but sure. Oh, because, you know, she hasn't gone since she moved here. Oh, right. So she got it right. when she went there right, right, and right. just hasn't lost it. Okay, so the battle droids are not going to fire everything at Ahsoka. Um, because of Killarney being near, they're also going to get an extra an extra dice. And also... Oh, no, I, I need to not move back so far. You need to be in range four. I, I need think. to be in range four. Yeah. Because if I stay in range four, I can give you either exposed um, uh, or... Um, what's the flame one? The flame is called... I think it looks like blood. I don't know. Brain. Um, Strain. strain. And what strain does, it actually means as soon as you take an action, you take three damage. It's a punishing so condition. So I'm going to stay yeah. in range four so I can do that. Yeah. So, and then they're going to fire. Let's fire everything. Great. Do you have to deal damage to get me that token or not? No. Nope. Great. That's nope. so cool. Uh, no, it's just combat AI protocols. It's nice. only within four. That's sweet. So the 
droids are gonna go. And on range, they get seven dice. Plus each. one with Killarney or? Yeah. So they get eight now? Yeah. Ooh. Fantastic. And you shoot me twice. Good job. All right. Here we go. First one down. Oh. Excellently. That is great. And the range gives you another hit. So that is no criticals, but four, five, six against the Okay. So she gets seven defense dice. I only have six, so I'll reroll one. Um, reroll that one. Okay. So three blocks and one expertise. And what is the, oh, the expertise? Uh... Yeah, the expertise gets her an additional block. Yeah. And turns Changes one of your crits but to I don't a hit, have any have... So you block four of them, but yep. two go through, nice. dealing you two damage and letting me reposition. So did you roll any misses with that? You uh, rolled two, I believe. I did roll a miss. Which means you take two damage, <laughs> which is the last two to injure them. Uh, I think. Right, you're right. So they don't get their you're second right. shot, thankfully. Um, no, the unit completes it first. Oh, I thought if you got injured on your turn, you were just right, but have to finish the action. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Um, th yeah, they wouldn't get a second th th yeah. if it was a second action, but they've already done their, their yes, second action. Yes, that makes sense. Um, oh, that was well done. Thank you. Um, I was hoping you'd shoot her. All right, I, I, have did, a do, I did do two damage. I forgot to roll the one for cover. And I forgot to roll the one for Hunker. Do you mind if I roll them now? Or should I oh, wait for the next attack? It. Okay. So another block and the other expertise brings me up to two, which adds another block. So I blocked the last two then. Oh, so you actually do no damage. I actually do no damage. And I jump towards you. So this is actually kind of useless. Basically, all I'm doing is making it better for you. I think so. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> You do, however, get to give me the strained or the whatever the other one is. Well, I also have another attack. Yeah. Because both both units. So um, the battle droids went down to zero, and Ahsoka didn't take anything. Right. She basically blocked the laser shots and bounced it back at the battle droids. That Where'd it go, Ahsoka? Well, the other battle droids. Thanks for letting me roll those extra, by the way. That's fine. Yeah. Um, it actually feels counterproductive. L yeah. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Um, the next Ooh. one, unfortunately... Not when you roll like that, it's not counterproductive. Well, yeah, okay, so one expertise gives me another hit. So I actually did two criticals and four, five regular hits. Okay. Wow. So I need... Um, so I can choose exposed or the, 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 the thing? Yeah. I actually think I want you to be exposed, so you can't roll... Oh, I'm sorry, no. You do it after it the... It does it after the attack, yeah. so I can't do it. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep the... Uh, sure. I, I don't want exposed. I'll, I'll okay. keep the, I'll keep the uh, blame thing. So I just have six dice here. I'm supposed to roll seven against ranged, plus one for the cover. Uh, so I need to reroll two of these. Oh, I guess you... No. I don't think you get cover from oh, this no? guy, because I'll go from this point right here. Oh, it's the back guy. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just need to reroll one then. Okay. So I got five expertise results and a block. Why would you reroll one? Oh, because you have, you have seven dice. I have seven dice yeah. on defense. So four plus means I get... Two additional block results. Yeah. Plus one of your crits becomes a hit. Um, plus I jump towards you. <laughs> it's like, yeah, come on in. Yeah, let's fight. Which now I can test the oh objective. Goodness. And plus I get to heal one. Yeah. Yeah, because the last one there is to heal one. So we'll do that. Um, or I do that after you okay. deal anything to me. So you've blocked two of them. Yeah. So we do the damage first and then it goes one, to... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So on the battle droids, they they do one, two, three, four, five, and shove you backwards one. Oh, I wanted sorry, oh. five, five. Oh, they do a lot of damage. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. So that's gonna and wound. And they her. shove you back. Woo! And I get to reposition. So that definitely wounds her. So I, I'm gonna reposition backwards. Um, just, reposition is a full move. Oh no, it's but I'm in combat, so it'd yeah. be a um, it has to be, that. be a dash. Yeah. 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 So that's gonna take me out of combat, but these are guys are these guys are um, yeah these guys are uh, injured, so um sorry wounded. So these guys actually can't hold the objective anymore. But neither can Ahsoka now. But neither either. can Ahsoka. Yeah. Um and because I wounded you, I go up on the struggle tracker. Yep. And you wounded me, so you actually go up on the struggle tracker oh, as yeah. well. <laughs> this is wait. Nuts. Who else did you wound? Oh, that's the only person you wounded. Why did you go? no? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think I wounded anybody else. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Oh, you know what? I went there because it was on your side after I moved it. Oh, right. Okay. And yeah, then, yeah. yeah. Then the and wound. then I'm going to go up one for controlling yep. one objective. And then do you do anything else to me? I, uh, you add another condition token, which doesn't do anything. Uh, I can add a pin to you. Oh, yeah. So, I might as well add a pin to you. So and, you got, you got, you've, you're uh, strained and pinned. 
So, uh, oh, so exposed, strain and exposed. So you do your, they're called character effects, which is the part of the expertise that does things like move, like add tokens. You do those first, and then Ahsoka does hers, and she gets to heal one of her tokens based on her defense. So it's just the order things are done. Oh, because of her expertise. Yeah. Oh, her expertise. So her expertise. You rolled so well in your expertise that you actually yeah. can heal one. Okay. So I can't heal any damage from me because I'm wounded. You're wounded But now. I can heal one of these tokens. Yeah, and the exposed one makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So or whichever one, one this is, the strained or... Yeah, the strained one. Okay, well, that was pretty good. That was nuts. That was super Nubia, strong. Nick, what about the blood fire thing that you were talking about? Well, that's what... that's This is that. Yeah, that's what it is. This is the strain token. Yeah. That's the blood fire token. I don't know I why you think do it that. looks like fire. It looks like two things of fire. But I guess it is... It, yeah, it's blood okay. token. Yeah, it's blood. Blood token. Basically, strain means when you do yeah. an action... Um, next time he does it, she does it in action, she would take three damage. Yeah. But Unless she did, there's a recover action, it's called. Yeah. Uh, which she gets to do for free if she yeah. rolls well enough She's on defense. She's still exposed, which means she can't use expertise in yep. the future. Um, but she is, yeah. She's very... So she's wounded right now. She can't yep. take any more damage she, until she's she... She's basically lying on the ground, rolling yeah. around in pain, and everyone ignores her until she gets back up. So on her turn, she gets back up. She gets rid of all her damage and a token, and now is has one permanent wound token takes the extra force to do things. Yeah. Stuff uh, like that. When Can't... you're injured? Does it... Oh, yeah, when yeah. you're injured, it takes when an extra injured, force. When you're injured, it's an extra force. Yeah, so it's two force to do your yeah. actions. So I now have my two characters injured, and you have one. Oh, you also have two. No, the I, have, I have two. You, you've, yeah. you've injured, um, you've injured uh, Ventress and yeah. the droids. Okay. So at the end of the turn, you control one. two still. Oh, one. Just one. You took the other one yeah. away from me. So I already went up one. Okay. I already did it. Great. So, and that's, that's the end of my turn. It's okay. your turn. I did a lot of stuff. That was a big turn. That felt long. I feel and like I could take this one. I think you can. So let's roll, roll see which priority, priority objective. objective. It is this, this one, one again. again. Oh, oh, that sucks. That's wonderful. So this goes down. Boom. Okay. And I'm going to pull random again. See who I get. I got the clone troopers. The clones are going. I don't know if there's anything good for them to do. Hmm. Not that I can think of. It's, I might pay one. There's nothing worth them shooting at. I guess they could move up here. I guess here. they're a little far. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. So Ventress is right here, but you actually can't target can't her. Can't damage her. She's rolling around on the floor, damaged, injured. So what I could do is move them up here, and then shoot Kalani to try to wound him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much awesome. damage has he taken? None. Oh. So I would have to deal ten, but I can maybe push you off the objective, do some bad things. Could try. Or I can try to shoot him. Oh yeah, Gar Saxon. Because he, Gar Saxon. Well, he's gonna have a turn, and he's gonna shoot Bo Katan. Yeah, Bo Katan needs to go down. Yeah. Bo Katan try, needs to die. Where, how much damage have your super commandos uh, taken? The super commandos are down to three. I can try to wound them. That'd be actually smart. That's idea. actually. Let's do that. Yeah. So there's two unit, two models in the in the super commandos. They actually they they count wounds together. So <laughs> if one is injured, they're both injured, even though they both get to shoot. So it's a little bit different like that. When you become wounded, don't you remove? And yes, you do. Uh, yeah. When you so you get no, it's not when you get wounded. It's when you get injured. So when you get wounded, you get a wounded token. It means you immediately can't control objectives. It means you can't get more damage until you activate again. Uh, and then on your activation for that miniature, when that miniature activates <clears> again, <throat> you flip the token to injured. They are permanently injured now. They get injured if they get injured twice. Most characters die. Um, and then um, and then when they get when they flip it to injured, they remove all of their damage tokens and start over and remove one condition token. Yeah. So one of these guys is out of range, so I have to spend a force to dash, which is a free action, which will get them into range of you, which will get them both a There's cover. one up here. Yeah, that's one I'm trying yeah. to get in range with. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, the back guy was out of range. Oh, got it. Yeah. yeah. So I spent a force to dash. It gets them a free hunker, which is nice. Um, hunker, hunker, hunker. The back guy's actually going to dash there to be in a bit of cover, but that's almost irrelevant. And then they'll shoot. So when they shoot, they get, wow, seven dice? They're pretty good. Yeah. They're, they're just like the droids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. So they shoot seven dice. The thing is their damage chart, or whatever you call this, the expertise chart, doesn't deal damage right away. So yeah, I'll shoot you and see what happens. Uh, they're not focused. So, is it against the super commandos? Yeah. So two All misses, right. three hits, and two expertise. The two expertise just gets them one additional hit. All right. Against ranged attacks, the super commandos only get four dice. They get one extra for the cover, actually. Right. They yeah. have cover. Um, did I, Pete, did I lose the hunker when you attacked me? Because I had hunker. I took it off. But do I lose? 
when you attack me, it, it, it's, I don't know. I think I only lose it when I activate. Like after yeah. I use it, right? Yeah. So I think you would still have it. Okay. So the Superman will still yeah. have it, which means I get an extra dice. Yeah, I've got one here. And I've got it. cover. Yeah. From this railing. You go up to six dice. So I go to six dice. That's not bad. Yeah. Um. Okay. So one failure. Four saves. So you already beat them all. And then uh, yeah. an expertise. Does it do anything for me? An expertise. It just gives me two yeah. extra saves. So I just yeah. block them all. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. And, and then, then the hunker goes away. Hunker goes away, and I take my second shot at you with the other clone trooper. Bring it. Okay. See if he can shoot any better. Uh, three misses this time. A critical hit, and one to two expertise just adds a hit. So three hits and a critical. Give it to me! All right. I blocked all the regular, um, and I can't, I can't do anything with expertise. So basically, yep. I blocked all but one. One got through. Okay. So when one goes through with these guys, all they do is pin you. Pinned. Yeah. Which means... Uh, I have to do a move action to get rid of the pin results, which actually really sucks. Yeah. So, which is nice. I don't have a pin token anywhere close to uh, me. I have a pin token over here. Uh, pinned. Can't move, yeah. guys. So, a cool thing that Rex can do is he can spend a force and when a close You lose Hunker when you become engaged. Oh, okay. Oh, Fair enough. Okay. I think we missed that. Okay, yeah. so that means I would have... You still defended the oh, whole thing. Oh, I still thing. defended yeah. it. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, so, Rex says that once a friendly clone trooper unit attacks, he can spend a force oh, if he's within wrong. three. So he is within three of that guy. He'll spend a force, and he can do a free dash, and then he can do a five dice attack against them. What? Yeah. What? What is this nonsense? So he'll dash over here, <laughs> and I think he should be in range of them. Is that in range there? Uh, yeah, I'll give it to you for sure. Sweet. So he only gets a five dice attack, and you still get the bonus one for cover. This is kind of like uh, Kalarni's ability. Yeah, it's similar, yeah, right? But it's different. It's called I'm Always First Kid. I actually just watched the episode. He says that in the other night. Yeah. Okay. So he'll take his... That's right. You haven't seen most of the Clone Wars. I've seen most of it, actually. So I've convinced you to watch it all now. No, I've seen all of that. It's uh, oh, Bad okay. Batch and Rebels I haven't right. seen. Right. Rebels, yeah. I actually like Rebels better than Clone Wars, really? to be honest. Now, the first season is a little kitty, but after that, yeah. it gets good. Yeah. So it was only the first season I saw, so I'd love to check it out. Um, all right. So I get cover, so I get one extra dice. With on three five. expertise, I add two critical hits oh. for Rex. Because here's Rex's. Okay, okay. So I got one save. Okay. Three, um, three expertise gives me three extra saves. Wow, that's pretty good. Sorry, two extra saves. But yeah. it doesn't matter. You're two critical. Two criticals. Uh, how much health do you have left? Uh, the Super Commandos only have three health remaining. Okay. So all I do two hits, which on this chart, yeah, I can so do the, the top one oh, and wound him. No, with I was four gonna. Damage. Oh, nice. Very, very much. Nice. I'll wound you, so I get one more of these guys. So the Super Commandos are down to zero wounds. They are wounded, which means they can't control the objective. Um, that was rough. Yeah, that's Way rough. Go, Rex. That'd and then guy. at the end of your turn, you control one, you control two, you go back two on the struggle tracker. And that's the main one, so I get an extra An point. extra one. So yeah. it goes over here. So this game is looking very different. It's swinging quick. Yeah. And although Rex is out of range of this, I still control it. Yeah. That was the last guy there. Woo! All Great. right. But so it, oh, a, so oh, the, the the hunker actually persists. Does it? It uh, um. Well, it's not a token you spend. Uh, it's not a token you spend. You nice. lose it. According to Sean here, you lose it when the unit activates or you become engaged. Nice. Oh, All right, so that's super cool. My next engagement Good is the know. super commandos that just got wounded. Yeah. So this is an example of what happens right now. Yep. All right, so chain, put that token on the super commandos if you wouldn't mind there to indicate that they are injured. So injured means that when I, uh, it means they basically get injured twice and then they die. Yeah. Um, so we go back to full wounds. So if you could pull back their wounds back to, not, uh, to back to eight for the super commandos and put that injured token on them. So if they get if they receive another eight damage, they'll they're out they'll the get game. out of the game at the end of their next activation. Yeah. Uh, it also means that when I do any of my abilities that cost force, it costs two force instead of one. Yeah. And um, but other than that, uh, that's the same. So so they're I, slightly worse. They still attack better. They're yeah. just more expensive to use. So as they activate, they actually get rid of uh, they get rid of all the damage. Yep. And one condition token. Yeah. So, so the, the pin, pin goes is going away. So the only good thing the clones really did was set up Rex to kill them. Yes, it, yeah. and actually that was pretty good. Which was pretty sweet. Yeah. So now I think what we're gonna have happen uh, first uh, before we go check the priority objective. Oh, good, good yeah. point. Sorry, priority I didn't mean to interrupt. Is this one? Oh, nice. So it means I need to double down on this. Yeah. Which you could do. You could move both yeah. guys in and overwhelm me on it. Yeah. Um, just making sure uh, that I'm not missing anything. Uh, okay. So, both these guys are going to move. Yep. Into range. 
of Bogotan yeah. and fight you on either side. Bring it on, Bogotan! She's ready. We're gonna go like this actually. So if we if we manage to push you, we push you off the objective. Yep. That's kind of the point here. Um Right, and you do get to hit me <clears throat> twice. Yeah. So she does get uh it says allied Mandalore characters, which I believe includes her because it doesn't say other allied. Um when they're within range three of this unit. You always count as within range of yourself. If you're con contesting objectives, you get protection and steadfast. Oh. So steadfast means the first push, the first shove doesn't yeah. move me. And okay. protection means I take one less damage. Okay. Is this terrain just from the core set? Um, almost. This block, this block here and these right here are from the expansion terrain set. And this terrain here, the, this, this desert terrain here, that is not from the, the terrain set. So all of this is what you get in the, the set, plus these little boxes. It's actually a pretty good terrain set. Like, it's yeah. pretty impressive. Um, uh, eight. All right, so the Super Commandos, for yeah. the first activation, uh, jumped in there. When they jump, they get a free focus action. Nice, because they're close together. Because they're close, which means they're going to extra dice on the on attack. Yep. And, uh, and now I get impact one. Which gets you another extra dice on the attack. So you get two exactly. extra dice. So, and Super Commandos are actually decent in close combat. In fact, they're actually yep. better in close combat than they are at range. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, Super Commandos going up, and we'll do two range attacks at you. Sorry, two close combat attacks at you. So you get eight dice. So, getting eight dice is huge. So I need to, what I need to do is shove you and injure you. Yeah. So, so you need to shove me twice because the first yeah. one won't move me. But I get to do this twice. So, so it's the first shove from each attack, too. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so the first one, I think, um, I missed once. Well, that's a good roll. I did three critical Ooh. and four expertise, which on close combat, um, give me, it's a flamethrower, which shoves you once okay. and it gives me two more criticals. So five criticals. Five criticals. So the only thing you've rolled is criticals. So I shove you back, but because of your steadfast, it doesn't yep. do anything. So I have no way to actually remove criticals. Excellent. So, so yeah. you can't do anything. So I can't do anything, so I take five. You take five, which yeah. is one, two. Oh, I can get rid of your weapons? Ooh. Disarm you, essentially? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's, I can do so much damage. I can actually shove you twice more. Yeah, so and the do first five shove damage. Move. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna yep. go up here. One, two, three. I'm gonna go in the top row here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five damage. So it reduces by one because of the uh, protection thing. Okay, so, so it would be four. Four yeah. damage. So uh, Bo-Katan has taken four damage, but what you are now is exposed. Yeah. So you cannot use um, can you use expertise on the next defense. Nice. And you are disarmed, which means you can't actually do an attack next time. Wow, that is bad. You, you basically got to go pick up your weapon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you shove me at all or no? Uh, I do shove you twice. Okay. So the first one won't move. No, no, I've already yeah. done one. What was the first one? Because the first one was um. Oh, sorry. What was yeah, it? so the first one wouldn't move. The second one can shove me then. Right. Thank yeah. you. Sorry. No yeah, the first one does nothing. The second one pushes you back one. Yeah. Yeah. So I push you back. I push you back one shove. Yeah. So that actually pushes you all the way to here. Cool. Let's put it like that. So. Yeah. All right. Um, which puts you... I think you're still in the objective, but how this actually works is people on a higher elevation... Yeah, they get priority. They get priority over people on lower elevation. So because mm -hmm. the objective is on a higher elevation, um, so if you're on the same elevation as the objective marker, you get priority, so I actually control this objective. Nice. Excellent. Then the next one is going to do the same thing. Cool. So, seven dice. I, if you roll five critical hits again... Yeah, that was so good. But you know, you've had it coming. You've been rolling poor. It's your turn. Oh, disarm just no exp expertise on the next attack. No, yeah. no attack. Okay, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks for the clarification. Uh, audio is echoing, apparently. You can check that out. Yeah. Owen. Uncle Owen. Um, I rolled really good again. Come on, man. Two expertise. One miss. Uh, sorry, two criticals. Yep. Two regulars. Three expertise, and the three expertise becomes two. Oh, that's that's where that's the, where the other shove. So you actually did have another shove. Yeah, because it's from the expertise. Yeah, shove me again then. So you're actually shoved back one more. So I think you have to ranged attack me now though. I think you were right. So I better reroll this. So the yeah, second one, because I shoved you back so far, yeah. the second one is gonna have to ranged attack you. So I'll reroll this. So you're this. down two dice though. Um, I'm, I, yeah, because I don't have sharpshooter or anything like that. So you roll. I still have focus. Yeah. So, so still... I get five, six dice. Okay. Yeah. All right, so on the range attacks, oh, it's even better. Oh my goodness. Three criticals, two regulars, Kay. one miss. Well, roll my four. Um, I got, what does three expertise do for Bo-Katan? Three to four, um, gets uh, her two extra blocks. 
two extra blocks. Uh, so you'll block the regulars, but three criticals go right yeah. through. Oh, sorry, that wasn't Bo-Katan. This and three is Bo-Katan. criticals will do... Yeah, three criticals will do... I'll do the top one here. Yep. I'll do one, two, three, four damage. And that will wonder. And I'll give you a, a, a strain token, which means when you activate next, um, you might take three damage. Yeah. So, so Uncle Did I wound her? Did I wound her? Yeah, she's yes, down eight. I she's wounded. Down. And she has every condition almost on her. Almost every single condition you can yeah, get. Yeah, one of the... Yeah, strangers. I do right here. Great, thanks. Oh, yeah. That was That was punishing. really good. Good job, Super Commandos. Oh, and man. I now control... The priority objective. So yeah. I actually get one, two, three points. This That's goes down. Huge. Oh, and I wounded you. Yep. So the struggle tracker, I go up one of the momentum here. Yep. And so I go one, two, three. I'm very close here. Yeah. Very That's close. Tight. Okay. Oh, that, that was a lot of stuff. That was a lot of bad. Um, yes. P- pinning yep. is no move on the next move. Yes. Yep. Uh, it, so that doesn't include things like the force move things, because those are not move actions. Uh, um, it depends. Some of them say move action. If it says a move action, then yeah. it would be a move action. Uh, but it, if it just says this unit may yeah. dash or may advance, that's a different thing. Oh, right. Thing, You're believe. exposed to no expertise. Oh, yeah. Oh! So I still... So you had... take more damage. That's all it does. Yeah. But I went down here. So you take more damage, but I can't do any more damage. No more damage. Wounded, so... Thanks for the yes, reminder. Thank you, yes, thank you, reminder. Absolutely. Yes. She's ex- she is exposed to no expertise, but it actually yeah. didn't make a difference. Um, so would there be anything I would do differently? So I did roll one normal block. Um, so I would have blocked your regular hit. So I had three, so I would have four. So uh, I'll just do that. I, yeah. I'm fine with what I did. Okay. I'm fine with what I did. Yeah. Sweet. So well, let's see. Or her. Down off the top ledge. Just a yeah. black, they came in and literally just smacked Absolutely. her up and then blasted her down. Well, so they burned her down. Yeah, She's running away door. on fire. And maybe, then maybe, they maybe it was unloaded. an important offense. She did kind of like a backflip kind of thing to get out of range of the flamethrower. Well, she's injured. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, so the gentleman in, in black is echoing. The gentleman in black, you calling me a gentleman? Hi, my name is Nicholas. It's nice to meet you. Uh, welcome <laughs> to the stream. We're playing on tabletop. My name is Nicholas. If this is the first time you're seeing me because you're calling me a gentleman. Uh, I think you are a gentleman. Maybe I am Very a gentleman. Very courteous. Well, the other player is good and clear sometimes. So Uncle Owen is on that, trying to figure out why I'm echoing. And I'm going to figure that out. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Welcome we do here. battle reports. This is our first time trying Shadowpoint. We're trying it here. We're having some fun. Mm-hmm. Welcome here. Check out some of our other videos. We do some cool Legion stuff. I'm hoping to do some more Legion stuff soon. Um, but majority of our stuff is 40k, I gotta admit. But we do want to do more. So, yeah. that's cool. my turn. I was very happy with that. That was a great turn. Well very done. happy with that. I'm happy for you. Well, oh, thank you. You're very encouraging, <laughs> sir. Stay I love about you. Yeah. Um, let's see which is priority objective for me then. So I rolled the... It's that one back there. So the one Kalani's on. This objective is now the priority. I don't think you can take that away from me. Uh, if I activate Ahsoka and push Kalani off, I'll be able to. That's true. So I need to hope for Ahsoka here. Oh, I got it's the shatter point, which means you could choose any character you want, including choosing to do Ahsoka. Um, I can shove you twice potentially. Improbable wargaming. Nice to meet you, Stephen. Stefan or Stephen? I don't know which one, but I'm choosing to say hi. But I have watched you before. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching so, before. I am going to activate Ahsoka then. Okay. Um, so Ahsoka so- is now gets the injured token on her. You can yeah. activate that, and she goes up to full wounds, which is uh, nine. nine. So she has nine wounds, back up to nine wounds, and she also gets to get rid of one of her condition tokens. So when she, she only has one, the exposed token goes away. Yeah. So she does take an extra force in either in order to do anything right now. Would I recommend this game to a brand new table like brand new, like never played any tabletop game? I don't know if I would, to be honest. I'd probably there's a not. lot of complexity to it, and I like the complexity. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. And I don't feel it's overbearing, but if it's your very first game, yeah. there's going to be a lot of concepts that might be a little tough. And things. But that, then again, if you're yeah. ambitious and you're and you're you don't you don't mind that complexity, go for it. Try it. It is fun. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Nick, you have high expectations now. How's your Johnny Cash impression singing? Ooh. Oh, I'll that's an ask. Myself today to see if I still bleed. Oh, no, I, I can't do it that good. I love that. That's not even Johnny Cash's song, I think. Um, yeah, well, it's not. It's kind of his song now. It's yeah, the Nine Inch Nails, but they said it's his. They did, did say it. And I, to be honest, that's actually my favorite song he's ever done. Yeah, I feel so like his good. emotion in that that piece was it's just It's his like, life so well. Mm. It's potent. Yeah, it's very yeah. potent. Yeah. yeah. All right. Very potent. Um, so I need to decide which way to have Is Ahsoka. Legion or Shatterport a better first game? What do you think? Huh. I don't 
That's hard. That's so a hard question. Legion, I found really easy to learn. I think Legion would be easier to learn. However, Nick taught me uh, the Middle Earth strategy battle game when I was nine years old. Yeah. Uh, maybe eight. So I've been playing games like that. Yeah. Since like I was. Yeah, that's, a, that's hard. That's hard. Yeah. I don't know if there's a best tabletop game to start with. I guess just start with whatever we want. One of them. Yeah. Just start with one, and you'll learn that, and then you'll get a whole bunch of tools for how game mechanics work, and yep. then all the other games will be easier. Yeah, the first one is hard. That's just yeah. what it comes down to. I read my first rule book five or six times. Yeah. Um, just so I could teach all my yeah. friends and, and learn watch to play. videos like this to learn how to play. Exactly. Right. You watch other good people yeah. play. I went to tournaments not knowing how to play. Anyways, okay. So Silk yeah. is injured. Sorry. She got rid of her token. She's back at full wounds. She should be at nine with the with the injured token. Yeah. Um, and then she gets to activate, and you have a perfect opportunity. Can you? So right now these droids are wounded, which means they can't hold this objective. Yeah. But I've got. Uh, a tactical droid that is holding the objective. If you can take me off the objective, you will take this priority objective and be in yeah. a good position. So I need to try to figure out, can I stay where I am and shove you far enough off if I were to shove you twice? Oh, so you go. I would go straight back. If I would we shove twice, yeah. I would go here, we're still in range, and then I'd go here. Plus the width of your base. Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I'd be still in range. So, it's there, so you go there, plus oh, the width of your base. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. I'd be out. If you shove me twice. So Soka's gonna focus then and attack you with so seven dice. So focus means getting extra dice. You just, get, yep. you just go right into, right into the, the tactical droid. Three, three, four, five, six. Oh, the, t the screen oh. is going to sleep, but now it's not. Nice. So Soka will focus to get the extra dice on her next attack to give her seven attack dice. Um, I could have used her more aggressive side here, which gets seven automatically, but that deals more wounds. And I actually just want to do the shove option and yeah. move Nick. I need him off of this to get these points. Bryce, how would I compare this to Warcry? To be honest, I haven't tried Warcry, so I can't give you a good uh, good thought on that. So you wouldn't compare it. Yeah, so I guess yeah. I wouldn't compare it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll pick a game you can play with others. That's a great point. So yeah. like, if you have a, people that are interested in playing it, do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like at this point I'd play whatever my friends are willing to play. Like, yeah, I, we I, have several games that we play. Yeah, yeah, and we just kind of like, and I only really play them with you. Yeah, like Song of Ice and Fire. That's a um, fun game. We love I've that never, game. But never even met somebody else who played I'd it. I really but, just play with you. Yeah, yeah. me too. All right, anyways. Yeah. Anyway, so Ahsoka, right. try to yeah. kill the super back tactical droid. I just want to move you. Seven dice. I need three hits to go through. Um, wow. Ooh. So I got two misses. Okay. Okay. Uh, three, oh. four, five. I only get three dice on defense. So I got. Five, whoopsies, five hits and a critical hit. Ooh, I only get three dice. Yeah, so even if you roll great here. I I, I stopped three of them, but so three go three, through that. We're gonna go through. Okay. So, so what I'll, are you gonna do? Well, I'll shove and damage you first, because that's the first one. All right, so down one. Yeah. Um, and then I'll... You see you shove me twice, so you go yeah, down the so, bottom row. Yeah, well, I can do it at the top two, but I don't but need to But you might as well heal. do more damage. Yeah, so I'll do one, two, three, four damage. And two shoves, and you get to jump. So I'll shove you once. Can you do that for me? It's a bit far. Yeah, I'll shove. Yes, boom! Okay. And boom! Yeah. And you can use those shoves to put forward if you want to. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do that. Okay. And then I'll shove again forward, but then just jump right on top. Uh, uh, you have to go towards it. You can't, you can't. Uh, well, I've got the jump thing. You could use the jump, yeah. yeah. But jump I think I'll jump it. there because I want to yeah. stay in melee with all three of them, ideally. Do you uh, think there's a spot I can do that? Yeah. Right yeah, you there. are. You're fine. Yeah. Which yeah. means right now, because the droids are injured, I now control that priority. Yeah, objective. you yeah. brutal. And uh, sorry, the tactical droid, the super tactical droid, has taken one, two, three, four. Owen, yep. four wounds taken off the tactical droid. He's brings got it down ten to health. Six. Holy smoke! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. That's Ahsoka's turn then. So, one, two, three. It goes, and I hold it back just barely. Yeah, that, yeah, that's true. Legion is a Legion is easier to learn, but Shatterpoint comes with everything you need for two players. Uh, so does the Legion starter pack. The I mean, Legion starter, I was very happy with. Yeah, so yeah. it doesn't start with terrain, but yeah, that's true. Yeah, this this is a pretty impressive starter pack, to be honest. Yeah, so um, you can't play bigger games than this. It's set up to play with the two squads. Yeah. Compared to Legion, you get about four hundred points in the starter. Yeah, I mean, and the regular play, games yeah. like eight hundred. So it's still fun, right. great time. So that was a that was a brilliant idea. That worked. So now you get three. Yeah, because you get two for the priority and one for back there. Uh, which means this goes. I already towards... moved it up. Oh, you already did. Okay, because yeah. you were about to win then. I'm <laughs> not quite. I'm just too ambitious. I'm excited. All right. Yeah. So then my next turn is Maul. I forgot I had Maul yeah. down here. So he's still pinned. He's still pinned. So he can't move. Am I in range? No, I'm not. Barely though. Yeah. Um. So Bokatan's injured, so I can't damage you. Yep. 
Hmm. You know what I think I want to do? I don't like those clones. Oh, or the... Uh, hmm. These guys haven't gone yet, right? No. Okay, so Maul is yeah. going to recover. Okay. His first action is going to be recover. It gets rid of this activation, yeah. so he's no longer pinned. So the That's recover fine. action, you get rid of either a token or a wound token. Yeah. And then I'm going to use one of my force yep. to, um, to uh, force speed. Basically, I get to run. Uh, and I'm going to force speed into the clones, I think. Yeah, the clones. Yeah. Oh. I got a force speed over here. Is there a jump? Can he jump? I don't think for free. No, there's no way to do it. So you've taken one action, yeah. I'm taking one action to jump, uh, to force speed into so, the clones. Yeah, that's a free thing. Yeah, that's a free thing. Nice. And then I'm going to fight you. Maul is going to fight you. Boom, come here, Maul. And he's actually going to use his uh, better close combat uh, ability. Okay, he's flipping to the dangerous side. He's flipping side. to the danger side. So the clones only have seven health. Welcome to the danger. I'm hoping to wound you is what I'm hoping to do. I like, so and you have seven dice. And if I roll really well. Yep. Um, oh, is the other side more jumps? Oh, uh, no, the other side doesn't have jumps. I was hoping to roll really well and then jump on to take the objective, but I'd have to roll insane. It's possible. I only get four defense dice against melee. Okay. Um, oh, I can suck you in towards me. So I am, I lose my hunker token because you're in, engaged me. Okay. Um, before I fight, I'm actually going to spend two more force. Okay. And I'm going to do, there is no place to run. Okay. And I choose a, uh, a model within three, uh, which There's is going to be, in this case, uh, Rex. And I pull you towards me. No way. Come here. That's awesome. So I pull you off of this. Yep. You're going to engage, which loses your hunker. Yep. And it also gives you pinned, or sorry, not pinned, uh, exposed. The exclamation mark? Yeah, ex oh. exclamation mark. Uh, how many ones does uh, Rex have? He's got nine. Okay. Um, so they, I think I'll go against Rex because you don't get to do any expertise. Yeah. So, and then I'm going to do all of my attacks into Rex. Right? I've just now put, go, gone into engagement with both clones and Rex. Which is sweet. And Rex I'm going to go slice up Rex with a lightsaber. That's super sick. Well done, Nick. I thought that was fun. Yeah. All right, so I get seven dice uh, with, uh, with... Where's the dice? You have the dice? I got some. You got some of them. There's two. There's two. Where's the rest of the attack dice? Did I put them in my pocket? Where'd they go? I've probably been playing with them. Oh, they're all in the box. Oh, they're in the box. Okay. Just so funny, because everybody dice. else can probably see Seven them. dice. However, I actually get one more because I've taken three wounds. For every Ooh. three wounds Maul takes, he has an extra dice. He has eight dice. <laughs> Look at the Maul. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. And I only have two misses. Nice. The luck has been really turning around. Yeah. I have two expertise, three hits, and one critical. Okay. The, um, the expertise for close combat on two gives me one more critical. And one straight and damage. And one straight up damage. So I'll just put this in here so that we remember. Okay. Can okay. go for it. Go for so I get my roll. five no expertise results. So I get three blocks then. Three blocks. So two so criticals go through. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to do a straight four damage to you, plus the extra damage. You've so taken five. five damage straight Ooh. up. That was really good. Well done. Good job, Maul. How'd it be? That's sweet. Maul's kind of cool. Maul's, Maul's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think that's it. That's all, that's all Maul could do, and Maul was very happy. I've got two yeah. force remaining. Uh, I almost wounded you. If I can wound you, I'll... Uh, I'll get yeah. that struggle. Oh, and then I control. Oh, yeah. Control I, I only one. control one. Which one's the priority this turn? Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. We forgot to do that. Yeah. Priority objective is that is. I think it's the same one. Let's no, see. it's this one over here. Yeah. So this, this one, one stays. Yeah, sorry. One. That one stays. That's as right. Priority. And so nothing happens. I control one. It goes back to zero. What happens when it goes to zero is both people get a momentum token. So this game. Is so close this right is now. So this is yeah. very, very close. So if I win this one, it's done. I've won. If Nick wins it, it we go on to the next round. And yeah. I think Nick, like as far as killing guys go, is up on me. I have a decent chance. I've here. got a lot of wounded characters. Um, I'm gonna be straight with you. I want Anakin to go here and, and go, go take out Maul. If he wounds Maul, I get to put one of these things down. Oh, and, and I you control could... two, and I would win. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I'm going to, it's my turn. We'll see. Which priority is the priority objective? objective? It is, that's the this one over here. Ah. So this is the priority objective, okay. which is not what you want. Nope. And nope. then, uh, I'm gonna what's characters activating? My top guy. So it's the Mandalorians. I'm going to spend one of my force to set them aside till later, actually. Okay. Because I only have two left in my deck. And you want Anakin. I'm taking a 50-50 shot here, hoping for Anakin. My other option is Rex. Yeah. So it's, which I still wouldn't mind. I would be totally okay with Rex. So, and it's Anakin. Anakin! Nice! No! So Anakin's wounded, so the first Even thing that Nick happens... Even if Nick loses, he is still cheating? What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Some hefty allegations there. <laughs> um, I'll go and Anakin then goes from his 11 damage, where like he's got 11 health because he... Heals up. And is he already engaged with Maul? Who oh, he is. Oh, I didn't realize I did that. If, or, if you meant to move nah, out, we can fine. do that. That's not a big deal. Okay. Are you you should sure? be engaged. That well, just gets me it's a It's not going to make a difference. So he's going to focus and get nine dice. It's not going to make a difference. Yeah. So Anakin will focus. He'll oh, get his... sorry. Anakin is now injured. We got the injury yes. token to Anakin. Um, and he's now got full wounds again. So, can you pass me the attack dice, please? No! So, Anakin's on his aggressive side. I'll there put you. this here so everybody can see. So, he gets nine dice. I think I've got eight here. Two, four, six. So, he'll reroll one of them because he focused for this attack. <laughs> I, I did have really horrible luck earlier. Yeah. Uh, the beginning of the game was really terrible. So, I only missed once. Oh. Got three expertise, which for Anakin, three expertise adds two crits. Oops, that was already a hit, so... One, two, two three. So I get six defense dice. What do I got? I think I messed up one. So I got two crits and three hits. Oof. And Ooh. Oh, so those three become two blocks. So the two crits go through. So they're just two blocks. I don't have any other blocks. Oh, sorry. You have three here. Uh, it doesn't matter. I, oh, I, they're I expertise. Need four, I'm sorry. I need four expertise. Sorry, so I thought they were two regular. crits and a regular go through. Which will be three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. And Maul has eight. eight. The wounded token. So eight. Got eight. But you know what happens when Maul gets injured? So, so yeah. revenge! I must have revenge! When a unit is wounded by a melee attack... So is he wounded yet? Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to burst your bubble. I was so excited Forgot. to... Forgot! What's the sorry, move? What's the it's, move? It, yeah. It's more that I get to fight you back. Oh, cool. Well, I'm gonna fight you again anyways. <laughs> so Anakin's got the thing that lets him spend two force in order to attack. I'm gonna spend my last three force... Yeah. ...to just let Anakin attack again, because if I wound Maul, I'm just gonna win the game. Yep. Yeah, so, you are. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. So one damage here wins me the game. Okay. He's got his eight dice. No, you won't. You won't do it. You won't do it. I did get a miss after all. <laughs> okay, two expertise adds two more crits. Oh, no. well, that's real. <laughs> so I got uh, four crits. All right. Well, I block all the regular hits. Four crits. Yeah. Four crits. So you do a bunch of damage to me. Yeah, so I do three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, and I get to jump. Uh, which, d don't you have a special ability when you wound someone, you get a mo free momentum? Yeah, so, so when I this wound why, somebody... So this is why he's going to win yeah. the game here. So, so Anakin... I don't know where to Anakin put this. Anakin has a special it. ability that when he wounds a primary target... Um, yeah. Or he, a secondary... He um, gets a free momentum, so he's going to go up to here on the struggle so tracker. I don't get a free momentum, but I move the struggle one my direction. Oh, okay, so that's what yeah. it is. Moves the struggle his direction. And then because and I wounded... And because he wounded... Maul, he gets it a free goes, momentum token, so now he's goes two there. away, and guess how many objectives he controls? Got two. One, two, which means yep. at the end of your turn, I'll you win. will move this two yep. and win the game. Well done, sir. Thank you, Well Nick. done. Thanks for playing. Oh, I was so close that one. I almost oh. had it. I thought you did. I almost Especially, had it. I felt like I was getting cleaned up oh. that second round. Yeah, no, I, I thought I could take that one. Yep. You know, is this move with, uh, with Ahsoka? I think so. Just it, coming in clutch and wounding the uh, droids? And, Out you know, of and you know how you wounded the droids? You shot me. I shot you, and yeah. you bounced the lasers back, back was, at me. It was, it was just so, so cinematic. Cool. It was oh, just like boing, awesome. boing, and they're like, yeah. it was great. It was great. There was some was great awesome. moves, some great yeah. kind of play. It was a ton of fun. I thought you played the Mandalorians great. I think I finally did something yep. with all of them. And uh, yeah, that's the game.
that, was, that was that was the game. That's Shatter the setup and production is awesome. Thank you for so much time and resources on high quality content. It's a lot of work, and your commu community appreciates it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you saying so. It is a lot of work. We did a lot of work. Yeah. So on that note, thank you for watching. And if you'd like to support this work, we would really appreciate it. Please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. And if you'd like to go that extra first step to ensure that we keep the lights on and be able to do more, um, consider joining our Patreon or YouTube membership. You get exclusive shows. We have uh, exclusive 40K shows, some really cool ones. It seems like live great streams, content, yeah. Access to our Discord, as well as, um, as, well as uh, even more than that. We have uh, early access to that stuff too. Um, and uh, that's for the same for Patreon and uh, and YouTube <laughs> membership. It goes a long way to keeping the lights on and keeping us going because the production value actually takes a lot of effort and a lot of time and a lot of resources. And uh, we'd like to keep Owen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Owen, for uh, for uh, switching for thank us. You, you did so a fantastic much, yeah. job, Sasha. Thank you so much. Sasha's my cousin. If you haven't yeah. met before, we played some Legion games. We're hoping to play some more in the, in the future. Yes, we will play some more Legion. Guaranteed it. Uh, Sasha's got to come back and I got to get a chance against I him. I love it. I want you to win one. I would love to win one. Well, so every time we're in Nick's place, Nick does really well against me. And as soon as we're on the channel, he's got so much going on in his head, struggles a little bit. <laughs> and Owen also wants to play some Legion. Absolutely. Um, he, he's got this cool sleight of hand trick that I want him to do when he reveal the cards. Can, can you do cool. it? Yeah, you, you want to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Come here, do it. I feel like now's the time. Yeah, come here, do it. Yeah. Oh, oh see absolutely. It. So, like, in Legion, you, you do cards as well. Like, you reveal the card. I don't really want to show that on camera. I want to be like... <laughs> I haven't bought the Legion core set yet. What do you think? Uh, which one should I get? I really like the Empire Rebellion, but I also like clones and battle droids. It's hard to choose. Um, for um, me, personally, I just bought what my friends would play. I really liked the Empire and Rebels, but my uh, friends agreed to play droids and clones. What the frick? That's really good! <laughs> um, okay, if I was to say personally, uh, if you're looking for a starter set with two armies in it, um, uh, Legion has both the Clone Wars and the, the Galactic Civil War. The Galactic Civil War was the first set they came out with, and their first miniatures are a little rough. They are a little older, the, the detail's a little softer, but I personally like Rebels and in, in Empire yeah. better, because that's what I grew up with. Um, that said, if you like droids, those miniatures are so frustrating to put together. Yeah, if there's not, one miniature, oof. these droids, they're... Their head is in three pieces. Their head. It's and look head. how spindly these guys are. So if you're just new to the hobby, like we were talking about earlier, droids are a harder thing to yeah. build, just straight up. Yeah. They're totally doable. My friends had never built something yeah. before, built some droids, but didn't like building them. Yeah, There's fair the, enough. Same with the droidicas. They were hard to build. Partner with a friend. Hey, yeah. you yeah. assemble them, I'll play them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, buy what your friends will play. I yeah. love Clone Wars and droids, and now we play that because it's what they agreed to. Cool. Um, I can't think of anything else. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, folks, thank you so much for watching. As I said, uh, this has been Nick from Play on Jump Up, my cousin Sasha, yep. all in on the switcher, and from all of us here at the Play on Studio, until we see you next time, take care and play on. And that's when you hit the red button. <laughs> Go! <laughs> we really need like an ending sting. There, yeah. <laughs>